Now, oh no. Hey, good morning. Hey, good morning. Hey. World Wide Web. That's excessive. It's a bit much. That was excessive. So, yeah, some good much. coffee right there. Woo! I got excited. It's a good day. Yes, it is. Today's going to be a good day. I got excited, man, because I'm starting to think about um, A, tomorrow's my last day at. In the uh, Hubert Vester Honda. Tomorrow's the last day at Hubert Vester Honda. The only place, currently, I would recommend to go purchase the vehicle. Because they are tomorrow? amazing. How about Thursday? Um, well, it depends on who sponsors us, sir. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> ah, ah, ah. But I'll always recommend them. No, regardless. Sit from a seat and start doing books on the over at Ben Rapila, even as a software professor. That's a great one for him. Yeah, it's funny. It is. Hopefully, Hilarious. we get to it. Hilarious. And I'm excited because we're talking today about something really cool and something I'm really jacked up about. Yeah. Are you 45! Sure? Second, man, sorry. I'll turn it down when we get on. I'm just... Wow. Oh, I got to share. 45 seconds. Not even 45. Now it's time to go. It's yes. go time, baby. Oh yeah, there you go. I hear the music now, Joe. Man, I really like the um, the TV being up there at the top. Is that's oh. cool? I can see your whole face now. Wrap around. What's going on? These are yours. Hey. Alrighty. So <laughs> priceless. Hello. Yes. <laughs> Good morning, Washington, <laughs> Greenville, and New Bern. Yeah. Corey here with the Beyond Limits Morning Crew. Yes. It's a chilly one outside, currently 44 degrees. You can expect a high of 59, so grab that coat. And if you're too cold, just come hang out here with us Yeah. in the studio. I'm studio not, I overdressed B. today. I'm, I'm going to be warm all day. I can Did you really? I, I love did. weatherman Corey. Do you? It, yeah. has, it has morphed over the past few months, and now you, like, you give the full update. I like and I don't even dress for the weather now. I wait until I hear you, and I bring like four sets of clothing <laughs> with hey, me. Hey, don't get me started, man. I'll start talking about I love you know, participation. I Excuse legitimately me. love it. Precipitation. <laughs> Particip we can talk about participation, participation. too. Precipitation. Precipitation. Participation. Well, listen, don't let the rain get you down. No. Uh, yesterday's well, awesome weather. Yes, man. Got me day napping. Dude. <laughs> about where I want to go on vacation. Okay, about. so you like how I did that? Yes. Day yes. napping. Oh yeah, that nap, was a nice nap day. Absolutely, which brings us to the hook. <laughs> what, what is, is the best vacation you've ever went on, or maybe you've got one in mind that you're looking forward to? Yes. So, so looking forward to that. Who's gonna Who's gonna start this one? I'll start this Jared one. Start this, start this one, Jared. Yeah. This Jared always knows where he wants to go on vacation. And here's my dream vacation. My dream vacation is to go to like Tahiti. Yeah. And stay in one of those over the water bungalows. Yes. Where that I just actually hang that in. is cool. I yeah. like it. I hadn't even thought about just that. Just give, like give me a vacation. week or two. Give me like Until two now. weeks where I just hang out and I can and, and there's just nothing. Like Man. You, you go swimming off your porch. There's it's just that's I know what, what I you're wanna talking do. about. Yeah. Tahiti. Come on. Come on, Corey. Yeah, I like that. Man, you're good at this. I'm telling you, <laughs> I'm serious. I don't well man, you think about it, but somebody asked you this. This is like Something that just really you're so excited about, but then you start to think, like, well, how, mm -hmm. what can I do? How much can I do? And then you got to come in here with something awesome like that, man. I had something kind of <laughs> low key, and now I, I don't what, know. What, what? Paul, you're gonna have to go next. Well, see, so this can be this can be <laughs> past or future. Yeah, well, I like both, and you I want to do both. I, th well, I haven't done Tahiti. I think that see, uh, up up to this date, up to whatever today's date is, I think that the best vacation we've been on so far. Is our our honeymoon? We went to Hawaii. Oh, dude, that was uh, that was cool. It's probably the only time I'll ever get a chance to go to Hawaii. Yeah, but it it was really neat. We stayed at like um this Hilton, and when we get there, I think it was a whole experience. We get there, they're like, "Hey, you've been upgraded." I mean, we couldn't what? afford we couldn't afford you know the rooms up top. Yeah, in, yeah. In, in a in a Hilton, especially in Hawaii, and they're like, "Hey, nobody's staying in them. You've right. been upgraded." I was uh huh. Like, Happy word. There you go. To yeah. you. So there's like flamingos. Flamingos. And, yeah, flamingos and pink ones. I didn't know. Pink ones in Hawaii? Yeah. Who'd have thought? I thought there were only, that's the only yeah. type of flamingos there were. I don't know the name of them, but Wait, yeah. No, you thought that was the only kind that, I, I thought I pink ones were cold weather animals. Yeah, so. What? Th 
Yes. Oh. <laughs> icebergs? Have you never seen a penguin jump hey, off an iceberg? Uh, do they have legs, hummingbirds? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, bring it home, Corey. Oh, bring God. it home, baby. Oh, Lord. But yeah, it was nice. Like they're walking around all over the place, and um, it, it it was just it was really cool. You're right on the beach. It was uh, Waikiki Beach, so Hawaii is uh definitely definitely awesome. I love that place. What about what was before Jared mentioned his? What was your now, now, are you talking about you know vacation. aspiring vacations? Either, either. Okay, Pastor I'm gonna Pastor. go first. We gotta, you know, I'll do later with the one I want. But I think the best one I've ever been on, been on as an adult, I think it's the mountains. The now, mountains. I was gonna Just say the Disney World. In yeah, I was gonna okay. say Disney World. But here's the thing: but nowadays, I'm getting older. You know, when I go on vacation now, I kind of want to just want to relax. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Now, you go to Disney World, it's awesome, but there's tons of people. So. The relaxation thing ain't quite there. Dude, but. we have got a ton coming up. Uh, people getting, like, so thrown off an airplane because they couldn't stop working out. I mean, th- today is packed full of some awesome stuff. But right now, something is in the water. Carrie Underwood. Oh, good. Good. That was good. Oh, man, I got to share this out. Man, I'm telling you, man. So, yeah, yesterday was a really good day, man. Yesterday, I joined ECBJJ. What's that? Did you really? Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu place. Um, I used to be a member, and I just couldn't, I couldn't, like, it's not, like, I this. it's not, like, really out of, far out of the way, but it's, like, on the outskirts. It's off a of Reedy Branch, so I let go of that uh, membership, like, three years ago, almost, and now I was like, man, I, I, I can start doing it again, so. Hey, so um, what we're doing is when we're on the air, these mics will be coming through the camera, through the live stream, and when we're Pocket. off, and, Overage. and when we're off Watching. the air, these, this, the, the Yeti mic, we're gonna be using the Yeti mic. That was some of the biggest feedback that we got yesterday. Is that um, is see if we can use both yeah. mics, and, and we could. So, I just saw. Uh, has anybody seen that confounded bridge? Yeah. Woo! Yeah. What's happening? Nothing. You know, my boy Parker's on here this morning, man. Oh, is that an insider? My ins- boy Parker! Was that, was that an insider? Yes! That's one of his insiders. He is, uh, man, I tell you what, Parker has the best stories. Like, he has met. Stop! Brandon Nicholson. What's up, dude? How are you? Thank Corey you for the devotion yesterday. with other men. Don't Continue. even judge him. Brandon has his own time. Hey, Robbie, thank you, man. You're always looking out for me, man. <laughs> <laughs> there's nothing wrong with wrestling around with other men. Wait a minute. I see and what you did there. You hey, me. Robbie, I, you, I want to unthink you. <laughs> <laughs> you think you're funny. Hey, I sweetheart, something. I love you this morning. Oh, thanks. Not you, Elizabeth. Got a bunch of people up Norman watching Kirk, this morning. Let's man. roll, guys. Let's roll. Jeremy Smith. My man, Whole lot throwing up the old on. Kevin and Stacy yesterday. Hey, jo- Johnny Jones is watching. Should we say, hey, jo- hey, Johnny, hey, hey Johnny. Johnny, 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 how Jones. you feeling, buddy? What did call me? Ever. See, Joel man, Jones is watching. See, Gatlinburg, Tennessee, man. That's something where I haven't been to in since like I was a sophomore, junior in college. Yeah, and that was fun because. That's a that's basically I always like to classify that as like the Myrtle Beach of the mountains. Have you ever been? Where Gatlinburg? Yeah, West talk. Well, West went to Pigeon Forge, but that's whoa, 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 whoa. like where are we talking Gatlinburg? Gatlinburg, you man. Been? Yeah, we nice? used to live in Knoxville, dude. I Didn't went to you really. I we went to Dollywood. Oh man, twice a month. See, I don't have much. And then we'd roll on up to Pit to Gatlinburg. Yeah, I don't have much experience with Dollywood, but all that's there. Yeah, and, and they've even added more stuff, so mm-hmm. it's just very commercialized. Like, you know, like it's, it really is like the Myrtle Beach of the mountains. They've got like yeah. Wonder Works. Yeah, they got. Of course, uh, that's in Pigeon Forge. But they have, yeah, a lot of it's in Pigeon Forge because yeah. they have uh, now they have um, Jimmy Buffett has like this place called the Island. Yeah, and they have yeah. Margaritaville, Heard and they have that. like all these shops, and they have fountains that. Like the dancing fountain. I might try to go there. Dude, it's cool. I might try to go there this it's fall. Cool. I'd rather go this fall. We love, we love Dollywood, man. Oh, man. It. Look, Timmy Green just uh, texted me. Hold on a minute. Okay. Timmy, what's up, Brandon. brother? I'm reading your text now. What's up, Brandon? Sorry. 
I, I just totally missed that Brandon said morning. I thought you were just. Hey Tim, me I got out. you, bro. I was about to, I about to let all that loose, and I ain't about to say nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Paul Norman Kirk says you look to sleep. <laughs> I'm getting my shares in if, so I can. Sit so there. yesterday, Jeremy texted me and said that if I do look asleep. Jared texted me, <laughs> said if we could get a photo of Paul with headphones on, he would look just like Heavy D. Who is that again? Heavy D. I, okay, thank you. Heavy D. Do you know who that is? Who's Heavy D. See, is well, he like a rapper from the eighties? It doesn't look like the eighties. Come on, switch. No, never mind. I don't know who the Heavy people. D is. Give the people what they want. Give the people what they want. All right, y'all. No. No, that ain't. Can't do that. Paul, heavy D. I mean, we both have beards. Put a hat on. Put some headphones on. Hold on. Put your headphones on. But we both have beards. That's the only thing. And we're both white, and we both have beards, so I can see. Dude, I didn't how. send it to me. Huh? I didn't send it to me. <sighs> no. What'd you not? What'd you? Look no, what I, I said. I said, he's too cool. That's what I said. Thank you. Who? You. Oh, yeah. From the show Diesel Brothers. I'm mistaking. There you go. Come on. That doesn't narrow it down. Man, it really I, proves. I don't. We don't. We don't have <laughs> live TV. He's a monster truck driver. We don't. Well, we do have live. We have an antenna in the house, and we have Netflix, and we have Amazon Prime. Uh, we have all the above. But plus, we have Sling. Yeah. So I don't. We don't get all the cable channels, but I don't think you need cable. To, like a lot of people so, don't even do cable anymore. I tell you. I know, Corey. Do you do cable? No. Uh, like, not like so right now, currently I have currently I have Netflix, and I just like a few days ago got Amazon Prime. Dude, I've been an Amazon Prime member since two thousand nine. Yeah. Yeah. Two thousand eight. Um, so I'm probably for like TV shows or whatever, just basic TV, whatever I'm gonna watch on it is I'm in it like maybe twenty bucks a month. See, I'm in a little bit more because I have Sling, and with yeah. Sling I get. ESPN, ESPN2, ESPN News, all the Fox Sports stuff. I do it for the sports. Actually, And then funny. Lizzie Beth gets um, the Hallmark Channel, yeah. and the kids get their little... I thought, so, so, so now, like, Hulu, you can get, like, all the local channels. Is that right, with Hulu? Yeah. Something like that? But Hulu, Hulu keeps taking off shows that I like to watch. Hulu. Yeah. Hulu. Hulu's fun to say. I, I was a Hulu, Hulu member for a little while, but I, was, I, I felt... We so remember. Well, that's kind of... Hulu. Kind of baloney now. Then my credit, then the, my bank updated my debit card, sent me a new debit card, and Hulu sends me a thing that says, "Hey, change your debit card on file with us." And I was like, you know, I think I'm not gonna. <laughs> yeah, I'm, just gonna let us I'm gonna make the prediction right here and now that cable. Oh, minus, oh, whoa, hold, on, hold, on, hold, on, hold, on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, that's don't gonna take too long. No, it's not. Cable no, is not don't going. Do it. To be around oh in ten more years, or yeah, satellite. Now they will still provide internet, but cl clearly they'll still provide internet. But cable will not be around in ten years. Dude, I can't believe you didn't give me like fifteen seconds. I couldn't hold it in. So, I have you met me? So I could just do that. That. Oh, that's not what I was. <laughs> see? You see? I envisioned what. That was gonna do. And it did it. That was it. That was perfect. Cable. This. This just in. Cable's not gonna be around in ten years. This just. That. Right it's not. Means. Everybody watches TV either from their phone, uh, maybe from their TV, but it's all. Most of it's going online now. They're either watching Netflix. They're either watching Netflix or they're watching Amazon Prime or they're watching some watch Hulu, but I think Hulu's going to be gone soon because there's there's too many other things out there and they just didn't. Whoa, whoa, didn't whoa, whoa, whoa! Hulu's going to be gone soon. You think so? Yeah. Why? Because Netflix, the giants are going to take them over. Netflix is. Who just, is the giant? Hulu was Hulu. a giant. Hulu. When they started offering the next day TV, it, it was the first ever. Yes. But now you can get that on any one of the bigger platforms. Amazon's huge. Amazon delivers mail on Sunday. The, they're going to be, I mean, Amazon is. But you can't watch, you, you can't watch NBC on Amazon. Yes, you can. No. Mm -hmm, yeah. No. Not and pay for it. 
Not in paper? Not, if not you got paper. Prime, yes. Prime. I got Prime. Hold on. I might be wrong. You are. I gotta sneeze. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God bless you. Oh, God bless you. There's always three. Okay. I'm sorry. Oh, <laughs> that hurt. What are you guys talking about? Nothing, man. Nothing. Oh. We're, we're having our own conversation <laughs> about cable. Look, look what Siri heard me say. Look, I ain't making this up. Siri just asked me if I'm a snitch. You are a snitch. <laughs> Snitches, bro. What did they get, Joe Money? Look at <laughs> Stitches, baby. We ain't got time stitches for this. get stitches. Oh, no. What? Siri didn't ask me. I asked Sneary, Siri. Apparently, Sneary. I asked Siri if she Who was is a, Siri? a snitch. And she said no. What is going on, brother? Apparently, Siri is not a snitch, guys. Are you a snitch? No. No. How do I know that? What is the craziest thing we can ask Siri? Um, I think are you a snitch is pretty far up there. I didn't realize I did that. Siri, uh, let me see. Let me. Uh, I don't know if I don't know your voice, but go. This is true. What is your favorite vacation spot, Siri? I'll go anywhere. Bro, that's kind of creepy, man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying, man? Like that? No, no. I, there's something that's like. Hey, I mom. Saw this thing on Instagram. Yeah. Like this kid was trying to like shoot up a school or something, and he asked Siri. Like about like school shooting, and she bought up a list of like the nearest schools like, that was near him. Nope. Don't like Look it. That's Jared. Don't like it. Jared's is like yo. But I'm saying, man, like, oh man, no. technology is hey. like it's, it's good. But then you're like, hey, I love it when you say when Siri. You say tell like, me a joke. Yeah, this is good. What's the best method to find out how? See, that's some AI right there. <laughs> would you? What, seriously? Wouldn't you agree? That's artificial intelligence, man. Yeah. I like it, it was a good joke, but we missed it. Are you ready? What's the best method to find out how heavy your red hot chili pepper is? Huh. Give it away, give it away, give it away now. <laughs> that's funny. That's actually, that's good no, quality that's stuff. That's about the Why best joke I've ever heard from... from do what? Sorry, guys. There we go. The mic was on me from when we switched the to the camera. Show. Yeah, that's okay. So, we all like seeing you, buddy. So you asked Siri for a joke. Uh, uh, Adam Carr said to ask her to tell you a story. Siri, tell me a story. It was a dark and stormy night. Oh, God. No, that's not it. That's it? That was it. it. Yeah, that's great call, Adam Carnes. That was good. That was not oh, a waste of time it. at all. No, not a waste <laughs> of time at all. I used to, so if you hit it and you go, hey, Google. <laughs> Watch here. Hey, Google. <laughs> Joe Money! Oh, How West, much time we got, baby? Wesley Come Hines on, Hines is up here. Wesley oh, Hines. Where is Wesley Hines? He's watching. It's what he uh, just commented. I think it's past Wilson off of 264. Wesley Hines said psych. Wes, man, we need to talk about uh, your terminology. Yeah. Psych went out in 1987. This just in. That man is it. <laughs> My man, there's so much around here. Supposed to be longer. He said the it was story. supposed to be longer. Yeah, the story yeah. supposed to be longer. Man. I'm throwing. Yeah, so Robbie makes a good point. What does he say? Siri is definitely a snitch. You think so? Because she's a CIA NSA plant. So, clearly, Siri is listening Wait a all minute. the time. What did you just say? Siri is listening all the time. So a CS, uh, uh, NSA plant. We're talking about CIA. So NSA. Robbie is making making the suggestion that. Sorry, I'm in my own world right now. No, it's fine. Robbie Adam is Carnes, I'm sending you a text. He said, "Shut it, <laughs> shut it, Jared." Shut it, Jared. Robbie's making the suggestion that the government is listening in via Siri. Now, I'll I'll, I'll submit. That, yes, yeah, she is listening all the time because you don't have to. She's listening for the phrase, hey, Siri. And she's going to cut on. So she is constantly listening. Now, how much of that is being recorded? Nikki! What's up? You know? I don't know. Do you ever think about that? I mean, yeah. Where does it go? Like, why can why can me and Jared talk about crayons, right? Crayons. And all of a sudden and say, then, hey, I love that red crown. It's one of my favorite ones in the box. Hey, Siri. And boom, on she comes. Not only that, but you get on Facebook and red crayon. Or yes. Not, but yes. Crayon, that yes. happens. That's yes, real. Yes, it does. 
It happens. Yeah, that's happened to me. I, me, me and too. me and Jake Manning uh, from Unity, we were talking about something the other day, and I don't know what it was. But I got back on Facebook um, after I left him, and you know how after the, when you're on the news feed you slide up and yeah, you'll, yeah, you'll yeah. get that advertisement like three or four uh -huh. people down. Yeah. It was exactly what we were talking about. Now, how is that possible? I'm telling you, it's because they're. <laughs> we're locked into the office. We can't turn the doorknob oh, because they got it what taped. What did you do? What did I do? Oh, yeah, you did that. What you doing? I tried to open the door. Open that door, Jared. Somebody said. Be a man. There is a. What, Use what your if, man hands. What if there was a fire right now? Well, there you go. You just ripped the tape. You know why? Who is the tape? You know why? Because I. You look so manly with your Capital One no hassle shirt on. <laughs> <laughs> you. I said it. You. <laughs> <laughs> no, that. They can't. Hey, that, that is good. that's the right thing, right? That that's was the no good. hassle. Isn't that what they push? Capital One, no hassle. Now, tomorrow he gonna wear he gonna wear a Geico t-shirt. Not gonna do anything with carpet That's true, Norman. Do they not well Capital One's a credit? That's very true. Yeah, Capital is, One's the one of the biggest auto lending. Are they really? Uh -huh. I thought they were did they have credit cards? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, they're a banking system. What's in your wallet? Yes, is that it? Uh, no, no, no. That's yeah. not it, is it? Yeah. Is it? What's in your wallet? This dude is wearing their coat. He's going to know He's gonna what know. their slogan is. What's the, uh, oh, Allstate. We, I'm we thinking to, about car insurance. We used to, You're in good hands. Yeah, they put on an awesome golf tournament for us every year that we get to go down to what is Myrtle golf? Beach. Golf. We go down there and we play a really nice course and they feed us and they usually give us a pullover or a polo. Have you already had a cup of coffee? Uh -huh. Are you making another cup of coffee? I'm making another cup. Oh my god. Why? Both of you are making other either. cups of coffee? Yeah, why? No. I got some kind of lazy water on here. Why, you don't think I need any more coffee? I'm just saying you're extremely hyped right now. Chipper. I'm always extremely hyped. How do we have Excuse me. three people how do we have three people on this radio show and still I'm the only one in here? What's your, what was your name? Randy. Randy, here. Hey guys, this is Randy. Randy is Joel's friend. He's from Kansas. Jared at, uh, made the statement, you're not in Kansas anymore. <laughs> Come on! Randy said, I've never heard that before. I, I said it like, Kansas. oh, you're not in Kansas He's anymore. not from Kansas. He's from here. He's attending college in Kansas. Yes, yeah, and he's dude. wearing a Carolina shirt, so he's a friend of mine. Yes. Go Heels. Go Heels! Did you go to Kansas, man? Said Randy from Kansas. Still get, still well, from here. support the boys. Exactly. Next up, uh, I don't know who that is. You're a, you're a, he's a Tennessee fan. Yeah. Yeah, he's a, he's a Tennessee fan. Yeah? Emmanuel Mosley? He played cornerback. Dude, my last name's Mosley. Wait, Mosley's. his last really? name's Mosley. Yes. But I'm not related to Emmanuel. <laughs> huh? I'm not related to Emmanuel. I'd know if I had... If somebody in my family was athletic enough to be playing at the University of Tennessee, you I'd would know about it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he plays for the 49ers now. Hey, you, you does know he that, really? You know that Tennessee, the University of Tennessee in Knoxville, has more Super Bowl champions players Yes. than any school. Who? In Who's the, this? The you Balls. Know, Tennessee. The volunteers. Yep. So, finish it. Players. Finish it. I know you're thinking something. <laughs> you can tell. You can tell when something's on court. He like he he wants to complete it, but no, it's kind of no. early. That's where Peyton Manning played uh, ball, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, he played golf there. Peyton Manning played golf. Did he really play golf there? Uh, well, I know he played football. I was thought he was like <laughs> multiple sport athlete. No man, Peyton Manning <laughs> played there. Tom Helton, you know, one of the best. Most consistent baseball players. As a matter of fact, Jared, I'm not joking. I remember the last time I, we were talking about Gatlinburg earlier. When I was really little, I was there, and I do remember like the Vols won a game, and you'd have thought, I mean, this is in Gatlinburg, Dude, but it was pandemonium. Orange, it is, man. It was we pandemonium. Liberty University has who, made it into the playoffs. Did yes. we talk about this yesterday? We, I don't know if we talked. You and I talked Fun. about it for basketball. On the phone. Yes. Yeah. Really? Yes. Tournament. But you know what Liberty. city you're gonna be? How do you know? Yeah, really high. high. Really hot, but they're twenty six and four or twenty two. Yeah, and six. I mean they earned it's it. Actually really yeah, good, yeah. yeah. And yeah. they won really? their conference tournament. So I mean they played some Lipscomb. Yeah, Lipscomb's awesome. Lips Lipscomb went last year. They're from Nashville. Forty five seconds. Hey, forty five seconds. Forty five seconds. Hey, 
Jojo Bonner, the theme for the day is what is the best vacation you've ever been on or Boom. the vacation you want to go on the most that you haven't been on yet? <laughs> Troll Tide. Troll Tide. UT is trash. Roll Tide. Now says that, people who love he toilet is, paper. He is the biggest. I will. He is by far the biggest um, Alabama fan that well, I know. congratulations. That I know. And everybody dude, can. Everybody's dude, entitled to their own opinion. Hey. And everybody's entitled to be hey. wrong. Dude took that personal. All right, your mic. Yeah. Are well, back. Sure, everybody's um, entitled to their own opinion. This? What's your deal? That is not personal. Jared. Jared open. open. That, is, that is loving. And these mics back. Now that's a pickle. Everybody's entitled to their own opinion, but they're also entitled to be wrong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hop on the live stream this morning. We're talking all kinds of fun stuff. We're talking best vacation spot. We're talking sports. We're talking. Uh, we're just. How did we even get game. on? Ba- I don't even know how we got on basketball. It's but like it's like every other thing that we do here. We have a hook for the day, but it always morphs into something else. But that's cool. It's fun. Think you about know. think about our live stream in the past. How Joel? How long are we on commercial for typically? Was that like ten minutes, fifteen? Uh, in total, it's ten minutes in the hour. To, in ten minutes, we went over more than six. To, we we, <laughs> si- we yeah. had a Siri conversation, and we need to push this hook, bro. Yeah, we need to do it, man. Because I don't know. There's some people. So like Joe Joe Bonner asked what the theme are was for today, and this is a good hook. Man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it yes. really is, man. Best yeah. vacation you've ever been on, or the the vacation you want to go on the most yeah, that you so haven't been on the, yet. The best vacation that you have ever been on, or looking forward to. Hop on the live stream at Your Daily Show. Hop on Facebook, type in Your Daily Show. Beyond Limits is going to pop up, or just get on ninety eight point three The Bridge. And start mm-hmm. comment. Once you click on the video, we're, you're going to be a, in the family, and you're going to see all these comments. Yes. You can go you back and watch in. all this. Whatever it is. Hippity hop, hop in, in and Absolutely. let us know your favorite vacation. We're just sitting here, and my Siri pops up and says, I ain't no snitch. <laughs> that, if that doesn't freak anybody out, then then there's then there's something wrong. Which, which got us talking about Siri. Yeah. Yeah. And y- y- y'all, listen. Yes. We have all been, like, Googling something or trying to find something for your kids, and then all of a sudden, every time you stroll through Facebook, that's the only ad you see. You just see it constantly, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Right. But now, we're starting to see ads for things we're talking about. Yes. yes. Not even typing in. Yeah. Yep. Come on. That can't be right. Listen Keeps track of, of what you're searching. Ah. It's like it ah. almost knows what you want before you even want it. Yes. It's kind of creepy. This is not cool. No, it's you not. know what else isn't cool, Corey? What's that? Hipsters. Hipsters. <laughs> hey, oh, whoa, now, you can't say that. Now, yeah, so really cool article today. Man inl- inadvertently proves that hipsters look alike by mistaking a photo as himself. He thought it was him. It was yeah. This is a but great really story. Not. I read this story the other day. It's hilarious. So check this out. It's a running joke that male hipsters all look alike with their flannel shirts, <laughs> thick beards. I Paul knows a thing or two about being a hipster, don't you, Paul? Yes, we're describing Paul, Paul Armstrong right are. now. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and other seemingly off-brand <laughs> attributes. But a comical incident in the MIT Technology Review might just prove that they all really do look alike. The publication recently published an article out of the Brandeis University about the hipster effect, quote-unquote, which studied how nonconformists usually act unconventionally in the same way to end up being exactly the same. <laughs> so Gideon Litchfield, the editor-in-chief for MIT Technology Review, you know, he, he had some stuff to comment on this. And um, right after the article was published, MIT Technology Review promptly received an email from someone who claimed he was the man in the photo and hadn't given his consent to be photographed. Picture on the live stream. Yes, picture will be on the live stream for you guys following. He accused the publication of slandering himself and threatened legal action. So Gideon Litchfield, the editor-in-chief, and his team quickly checked to see if the model in the photo signed a photo release. They contacted Getty Images, which found that the person who signed the model release was not the person who wrote the angry email. (laughs) This guy pretty much goes, sends them a nasty email, blows up their spot. Hey, I didn't give consent. This is an outrage. And then they're like, oh, no, no, no. This isn't you, man. <laughs> we, we had someone who actually signed a photo. You consent. don't know what you look like. So, so the gentleman who wrote the an- angry email, after the misunderstanding was cleared up, the man responded by saying to Getty Images, wow, I stand corrected, I guess. I and multiple family members and I and childhood friend pointed me <laughs> out 
<laughs> thought it was a mildly photoshopped picture of himself. Yeah. And it was not the case. So he says, hipsters do not look alike, and I didn't consent to this picture. And, and they then, said, hipsters do look alike, and that's not you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and it just, man, just, I don't know. I kind of feel bad for him, you know, to, to just think that you're so right and then figure out you're wrong. Yeah. It's kind of one of those things, but, hey, it is what it is. Yeah. But, uh, hey. Coming up next, you are listening to the fastest, most positive two hours of radio. Don't forget to get up there. Tell us about your fave vacation, whether you've been on one or it's one you want to go on. Don't touch that dial. We'll be right back. Yes. Good stuff. Thank you for reading to me because I was not going to close. I wasn't. Me and Paul were like. I looked down and it said Corey closed. I said, hey, yeah, it's cool. Yeah. It's cool. Jeremy added it to where we can see how long we go. I see the negative. Yeah. I don't That's like good. that. Let's take it off. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I saw the that. The negative's going to be It was still lot. right on time. We closed right on time. But I was like, why does it say negative? I thought we were over for a little bit. I was like, why? We, we were. It was 26 oh. seconds. Oh, well, maybe we should keep that. We <laughs> I don't like the negative. Nice to have, just yeah. so you know. You don't it like is it? Nice to have. It just makes us feel bad. Joel, it's just Joel's way of punching us in the face. Out of cards. Out of cards. Dude, I would go back to the Jeremy, Bahamas on a Jeremy. cruise Jeremy. with you and Jay Carnes any day. Me and Liz uh-huh. had the best time. And that is one of the best vacations Randy. we've ever, and Liz and I have ever taken. Paul, Yo. when y'all get in a funny topic in the second hour, me and Randy are going to hop on there with y'all. All right. Yes. You gonna be yes. jo- you gonna be Jones and Bro. <laughs> See, Robbie, Robbie, don't do that. Don't be like, don't be like them. It's okay. Don't be like them. <laughs> I don't know. Look, look, what y'all don't know? <laughs> what y'all don't know? Is Paul's the one that sent in the angry dog. email don't saying that dog. you didn't give me consent to use my picture. You did. I did. That's funny. Don't touch that dog. He's totally missing it, man. Did you touch it? I hear it. He's totally missing it. Corey, you totally missed this. Paul's the one who Thank you, Jerry. wrote the angry letter saying that they used a picture of him without his permission. All right. <laughs> see? Well, it, see, look, Genuinely listen. didn't think that was funny because he knows that I don't. But you know what? It is kind of funny. It is funny. Because it's so funny. Okay. Because I'm good, brother. I'm Thank good you right so now. much. I'm all Bro. jacked up on mountain well, coffee. Well, when we're reading the thing, it says flannel shirt with a thick beard, flannel shirt. Like, this is Paul. Yeah. No. Yes. Yes. You, so you're telling me. You're telling me that uh, if I if anybody has a beard and wears flannel, Paul, that you, all of a sudden you they're you've even a worn a toboggan like this. Dude and in the sweaters they when wear. When it's cold, there's a very high probability I'm gonna wear and those, uh, a toboggan. And, and those um, what cardigans they wear? The f- yeah, he yeah, loves his Mr. cardigans. Okay, was Mister Rogers? Yeah, I did. A hipster? Did he wear flannel and have a beard? He wore a cardigan. I but think he didn't wear. It's the it, combination. guys. Are y'all people on the live stream? Y'all getting Doesn't in on this? Matter. Listen, I don't think we're saying you are a hipster. We're saying you dress like a hipster. He he is saying I am one, and I'm oh, saying yeah, no. I don't agree not. with that. It's no. not really Paul. Paul is actually a you lumberjack. Don't... Thank you. I cut down a tree last night. How's this guy? I did. Hipster? Who? The guy well, he is. That's look, what look they look like. like. That's a I wear flannel. All the time. I wear flannel. You dress like a hipster, Joe Money. It's the combination. Oh Paul, man! Corey says you're guilty. No. Yeah. I don't no. Think so Corey for all says you're guilty. What? See, look, look. They don't. Rocky Top. They have only the live stream has oh, only sweet, seen oh, me sweet. wear. Where do you can't, want in basketball? Good old Rocky Top. Who? Woo! Rocky Top Tennessee. Rocky Top Tennessee. Who? Tennessee. Liberty. Or? They were five going into. Who? They were. I don't know what they are now. Mike. Rambo, you know who's not a hipster? Mike Rambo. Sorry. He's just a... <laughs> what is Tennessee basketball college rated? Oh, you know what? Adam Carn said... Eight. Oh, no, 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 no. That's 2018. Yeah, Adam, I forgot you Why sent would me you this give the me other that, day. Hey, mm. Siri, what's the UT balls ranked? In basketball. Tennessee was ranked eighth in the AP. Top Whoa, that's five. It's almost oh, like you just asked the same Siri the same question that I did. I bet you if I ask her, she it works. No, do it. At, you ask your Siri. Are you ready? Yeah. That's how you word it. Okay. Uh-huh, okay. Uh-huh. Are you going to say 2019? Uh, that's so, right. No, that's right. About, people are I'm patient, baby. People, I'm waiting on Jeremy Pruitt. People are He's bringing people it home. On the, uh, what are the Tennessee volunteers? Please look up different colors, Siri. <laughs> <laughs> Rock, Rocky. Tennessee was ranked 8th in the AP Top 25 in 
Tennessee is ranked number eight right now. now. They're ranked number like, eight right now. Yeah, this is right though. It just says 2018. They are ranked 18. <laughs> Tennessee was fucked and it got beat by a well, man who tipped in a. Who Collins. illegally tipped know, in a three pointer, got story. credit for a three pointer instead of the illegal two point tip in. Come on, Adam Carnes. <laughs> Fired up this <laughs> morning. Trying to show like that. <laughs> Paul, do you wear. What is that word? Patchouli. Oh, wait a minute. Flavored cologne. Patchouli. Patchouli. Man, what is. I don't even know how to say that. Can I be honest for a second? I'm not what sure of everything that Robbie You know says, what I'm about to do. I know what is. It's a, it's a species of plant from the family called mint. Do I wear mint? No. Yes. I would wear some of that. Yes, I do, actually. But it's beard oil. You're well, right, you Jeremy. Know see, man, y'all with y'all's so, beards and stuff, man, you got to keep it clean. But see, yeah. I'm not a... Have to let that, I can't get that a thick beard like Paul. Like, I'm jealous of Paul. What's this? Beard. Look how it glistens. I don't know if y'all can see it. I'm probably need to zoom in. Look. Sweat. But it's not sweat. I hadn't sweat yet. It's gl- it glistens, especially with fluorescent light. Paul, shave your beard for the hundredth show, for the hundredth episode. No, on, no, sorry. Paul, do not listen. On, Paul, do not. Are listen. Are you gonna get to a point where you dye your beard? No. Like Why would he color? dye his beard? The, the, like, in natural color. Like black? No. You, the Why would I dye it my natural color? It's already naturally that way. I know. Hey, so hey, as, hey, it, what's as, up? It, as it gets grayer. Uh no. No, I Irene, I love cruising too. So I got gray in it. Cruising. So Irene Berardi says I love cruising. Yep. I'm not, I, you know, I've only cruised. Are we talking on like a, on a cruise or like cruising up and down the boulevard? I think she says on a I cruise. I'm just being silly. I don't, I, the only one I've ever been on is like a Disney cruise when I was super. Wait, young. what? Those are the best. Yeah, I've man. never been on a Disney they're cruise, but I've been on a normal cruise they're and they're great. awesome. Yeah. I'd like to go. You on know why they're room. awesome? Why well, don't know? Because you can eat anytime you want. I don't know if I really want to go on a cruise. Hey, it's 2 o'clock in the morning. I woke up. Let me see. I want to go get a, some pizza. Okay. And room go service the, is free. Room service is free. Go to the all night pizza buffet. Room service is free. Like, you don't have to leave your room. You're like, I'm hungry. And they Dude, show I up. set my alarm clock for 3 o'clock in the morning just so I could get up and eat a piece of pizza. What about one of those Viking river cruises hmm. like up in Europe? Those would, would be pretty cool. They're different. Yeah. You ever heard of those? No. I you haven't? No. Viking river cruise. Mm-hmm. It's not in the ocean. It's like in big rivers up in Europe. It looked like that'd be something, be something different. You know what I'm saying? BG. Best vacation Jojo Bonner has been on. Taking BG the family to overwater bungalows. Taking the family to Universal a couple of years ago. Staying in a cool resort while there. Uh, his first flight and really uh, his son um, experienced his first flight and really meshed with his cousins and grandparents. That's solid. That is family good. time. Yep. That is good. And Universal Studios is awesome. Fiji. I've never been to Universal. Oh, you need to go. So, like, Universal is a little more uh, grown. That's right, Adam grown, grown up. You know, baby, you were there. Stacked up against Disney. <laughs> yeah. It's just like Universal, obviously, it's a movie theme. <laughs> I can yeah. turn down but, um, some food, baby. God. What? I'm having but, a um, conversation <laughs> with our, with our <laughs> live stream. But, yeah, no. Hey, this is Paul and Corey. Oh, Leo Chin, son. Master Sushi Chef, Leo Chin. What do y'all know about that? Y'all hear this? Dude, I might go get some sushi. We should all go get sushi tonight. I ain't gonna have time, man. I'm probably worried till like time to talk. 10%? See, I think I'm a pro now. I think I can say sushi more comfortably now. But when you put that bastard sushi ship, see, that just rolled right off. Now, if you'd have told me to do that for an ad six months ago, I'd have been like, my sushi. Yeah, yes, we yes, Master I ship. hear it at least six times a day. Master Sushi Chef. Master Sushi Chef. So you got you sushi. did it good. Yeah, well, that came with practice. Yeah. Because I do slur my words quite easily. Master Sushi Chef. Oh, look at that. You gotta like do something like, you gotta like. What? what are we Irene, doing? Nicole is getting married on a cruise. Yes, cool. that is really cool. That's future tense. Congratulations, Nicole. That would be cool, man. That would be cool. Get married on a cruise ship. Yeah. Nicole and Irene have uh, owned several Hubert Vester Honda vehicles in the in the last eight years. I think they've bought three, six, seven, or eight from us. Oh man! Yes, Irene, bro. you still have to go see Brian. My brother's watching. Hey, brother. Which probably means he's running late for work. 
So I talked to Fire Tower Animal Clinic yesterday, and they said that um, Furry Friday. Nicole, yeah, wait, yeah, wait, yeah. Uh, but they, they said that Nicole um, Denmark, or vet, who was up here answering yeah. questions the other day, like, um, just, uh, like, they'll walk past her office, and she's got us playing on her phone. So, like, the people are aware of the show because she's watching it while oh, she's at no the way, office in between uh, appointments. Chris Vesta? That's really cool. Chris Vesta hopped on this morning. Chris, I just gave a huge plug for Hubert Vester Honda, actually. Been talking about him a lot this morning. Chris and his wife went on an awesome vacation. Hey, where'd y'all go on vacation, Chris, where y'all were on that island? And people fed you grapes all day. Grapes? Something grapes. Like, yeah, something like that. It Man. was, it was um, pretty pretty impressive. So, Lindsay Adam Lane says, but expect to gain five pounds. And that's true. On a, on a cruise? cruise? Yes, ma'am. Yes. That's true. I expect to gain more than five pounds. If I go on a cruise and I only gain five pounds, I am royally ticked off. I do love to eat. Yeah. I do. Thank you. I love it. Oh, crap. Joel's my hash brown brother over there. He'd love a cruise. What's the last so one? Just, what's the last one? That you can just eat Are you really? and eat and eat. Where is it going? Eat and eat. I couldn't even tell you. Can't tell you. When was the last it cruise? It don't matter. What's the last cruise you've been on? The last one was probably five years ago. Five years ago. Um, we went to, where did we go? We went to Bahamas, um, Nassau. We went to Jamaica, maybe. I went there on one. You went to um, you went to Jamaica on a Hey, cruise? check this out, Fiji. Ralph Pala. Fiji. That's right. Chris went to Fiji, and I'm telling you what, man. Good gracious, this place! I've seen pictures of this place. Fiji, and it is absolutely. That's where I want to go. Ah, uh, Fiji would be nice. That's where I want to go. Where Fiji? See, every, every I said Tahiti, but I meant Tahiti slash Fiji. Any place where they have an overwater bungalow, and every time I hear I Fiji, I think of the Truman Show. Have you seen that movie? Yes. Jim Carrey? Because that's where he tried to escape to with Fiji. Ralph Pappas oh, really? said he just landed back home from Aruba. Aruba. How long? Jamaica. No, that's Ooh, not how it goes. You're wrong. I want to take you to Bermuda, Bahama. Come on, pretty mama. Robbie Keep Strayer, we're doing a Disney, a Disney baby, cruise in, da- in January. That's pretty cool. Where? Uh, yes, thank Disney you, Lindsay. I'm, I'm I don't know in. if he said where. Thank you, Adam. Nassau and Freeport, and then like the private. Robbie ride. Strayer, where's the cruise going? And the Disney cruise. Do they, they go on and the I'm same? I'm telling you, if I only if I only gain five pounds on a cruise, I'm not happy. Right. I did not do, eat enough. How much time? Oh, oh buddy. Oh, I'm opening. Oh. I guess switch this back. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Yeah, so apparently cruises, and it's not exactly a location, but cruises seems to be taken super popular. Yeah, taking it. But uh-huh. um, hey, welcome back, man. This is the third segment of Beyond Limits. You're hanging out with Paul and Corey and Jared, <laughs> and we are talking about talking about these vacations. Yeah. So I think people are just taking it by storm with vacations that they've been on. Yeah, and we're finding out. That a lot of people have recently been on cruises, or they are about to go on cruises. Getting married on them. I, absolutely. I, I mean, great. I, there's so much stuff that gets done on cruise ships, you know, and that's that's like the vacation to go on nowadays. I'm telling you. Yeah, let's see some of these. Uh, some of these. Let's see. I know Lindsay Adam Leg and my partner Adam Leg. They just got back from a cruise. I think they went to. Ooh, I don't know exactly where they went. I got to get up with them, but they definitely went on one. Robbie Strayer says they're going on one in January. Um, I like what Lindsay was talking about gaining, you know, how much weight you gain. Yeah. And she said, you'll gain five pounds on a cruise. Yeah. I said, look, do if I go on a cruise and I only gain five pounds, I am mad. And that's what people tell I'm me. I'm mad. They, you said it earlier. You said the food is probably like it's one awesome. of the biggest yes. perks. That's what you go. You go there and eat. And you said you eat whenever you want. You can eat whenever you want. There is something available all the time. So like 2 a.m. 2 a.m. You wake up in pizza, the morning. Tacos. Oh, man. Tacos. Ice cream. Yeah, whatever you want, man. Dude, you can have it delivered. How about to your barbecue? Room. Barbecue. Yeah, you can yeah. get barbecue. Yeah, hey, actually, dude, yeah. Listen, man, we. I wanted. I love creme brulee. That's one. Oh, that is fancy. my favorite dessert. Yeah. I, love I, don't, creme I don't think I've ever eaten that. Oh my goodness, That's never you're missing out. All right, so for me, I we asked on the first or second night of our cruise because they have different desserts every night, and I said, "What night is creme brulee?" And they said, "We don't make creme brulee on this cruise." Oh, like, oh, oh, that's my favorite. Do you know that the next night, you know what they brought? Just our table. Yeah. Creme brulee. 
Really? They're really nice. Just our That's table. pretty awesome. Yeah. Yeah. So I wonder if they just like sporadic, just they just made it. Yeah, they know? had all the stuff and the chef knew how to make it. She said, Well, there you so. go. Isn't that she cool? Said, we'll go ahead and make it. That I'm is like, cool. Yes, you will go ahead and make it. <laughs> the waiter that you have on a cruise typically is the same waiter that you're going to have all Every week night. long. Yes. Yes. So they know your family. Yeah. Like they really, you get this relationship with it's them. And so it's so cool. cool. I do like that yeah. part about it. We cruise. were taking pictures with our with our waiter staff and all that stuff. Yeah. It was really cool. Oh, yeah. Lindsay Adam Lake is St. Thomas, Amber That's Cove, and San Juan. That's where they yeah. went. <laughs> That's cool. So some, and some of these, a lot of these cruises, they like, they, they, they dock several places, right? Yes. Like they, yeah. Usually. Every night you're docking somewhere. Yeah, that's pretty cool. And they all usually go to a private island somewhere. And so, so you have their own private island. I guess that's another cool aspect of it. Like you can go and explore, get back on the boat, stop, go explore again, do, mm-hmm. do it all over again. And the restaurants on there, are, uh, I'm just telling you, man. Yeah, pools, restaurants, So putt, Jared, putt. You're, Jared, you're telling me I need to go on a cruise. I'm, I'm telling you, you need to go on a cruise. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. well, Wait, you get seasick? Uh, no, I don't think so, no. I don't think so. At least I didn't when I was younger. That's the last time I was on a cruise. We went to Bahamas. It was a Disney cruise. But okay. I hardly remember that. Yeah, we didn't, get, we didn't get sick. We had a good time. Yeah. Hey, you yes. know what would buy a lot of cruises? What? What? $273 million. That's a lot of money. This dude. What's up? This Why did you just come up with that, <laughs> that number? Because, this man, this story. guy buys a, a lottery ticket at a convenience store. Yeah. He His wife probably called him and said, hey, don't forget the milk. So he goes and gets milk or something, and he goes home, and he's giving the wife the milk, and he said, I also hooked us up with some lottery tickets, and they're right. Oh, I forgot them. Yeah, he forgot them at the store. I left them at the store. So he bought them, had to go back and get them? He left them at the store. That night, the lottery ticket goes, the lottery's drawn, blah, blah, blah. So the next day, he goes back to the store, and he says, hey, do y'all still have my lottery ticket? I left it here yesterday. And they said, yeah, they hand it to him. He won two hundred seventy-three million dollars. Are you kidding me? So after the lottery, <laughs> they st- it was still good. It was yeah. still good. That's crazy. Yeah. Well, I guess when they do the lottery, they they know that the winning ticket's been sold, right? Yes. Yeah. They, yeah. And they know what location. They know the store. The, yep. But so so what happened is that um somebody actually found yes. the lottery ticket, a yeah. quote unquote good Samaritan, oh, and God. turned it into the clerk. And this guy doesn't have the slightest clue who it is. Mm-mm. Who it is? He went nope. and did a press conference after he after he won. And said, "Hey, whoever you are who turned this ticket in, I want to know you so I can share the winnings with you." Never said anything. So I'm thinking about giving them a call. Dude. I don't even know where this is. Two hundred and seventy-three million dollars. I mean, that's enough to share. There's plenty to go you can around. Share it, you know what else? That's some expensive milk, bro. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh, man, I love that you just went there. I'm, I'm telling you, that's hilarious. Had to get the 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 milk for the wife, and oh yeah, I'll get some tickets and. <laughs> Man, I'm telling you, what a blessing. Dude, we are having so much fun. Hop on that live stream. Let us know your favorite vacation spot, where you want to go, favorite place you've been. Yeah. Um, We are just, we're having a blast. Just like that, we're rolling into hour two. Yes. Beyond Limits. Hang on tight. Wherever I go, Dan Brims, coming up next. Dan Brimman. Brimman. I just went with Brims. No, I don't know. That would mess me up. I I think you did good. I just rolled with it. Now, so, see, Paul, let's analyze this last name. How would you pronounce it? So, wait, wait, Brims. Corey, I would, I would listen How'd to you. How would you pronounce it? I, you're like the Brims. language expert. Brims. Joel's going to have his own either, camera. Either, either, you want to go on a last either, cruise, Lizzie Beth? Either the listen. M or the N is silent. Brims. Come on. Brimmins. Yeah, it's got to be Brims. It's no, cold. it's got to be Brims. Although Brims. I have you think heard from a few people who have been to Alaskan cruises nah, here that lately. Brimness. That they are quite awesome. Brimness. Brims. It's got to be Brims. Brims. Yeah. Yeah. Brimness. What if it's like, hey, what is this? What if it's my girl? Hey, my girlfriend watching. Deani, how you doing? Hey, Deani. Hey, Deani. Hey, Have Deani. a good day at class. Hey. I love you. Hey, Paul, tell us about the story. You thought you got ripped off. Corey. What's up? Corey. Uh, you said Paul. Oh, I did? Yeah. Corey, tell us about the story. You thought Which you got one? ripped off. Oh, oh dude. Gross. Okay, so... Yes, that's good timing. Oh, yes. look, they do have their so, own cam. Look behind God. my head. Right now, look behind my head. Corey. What's up, man? What y'all doing? Oh, that's oh, cool, bro. I like man. that. Look at that right there. That's pretty awesome. That's pretty cool. Hey, hey, turn your mic. Hey, um, uh, the Yeti mic's on. What, you, what are y'all doing, man? What's up, man? Up there on the... <laughs> that is and cool. We're out. All right, that's cool. <laughs> So I don't have to buy a mic for a, a, a camera for you. 
Huh? Yeah. It's really glitchy. It is. And I, it's, it was it glitchy on the screen? Yeah, when we tried it yesterday. Well, okay, I didn't know if the camera was... Uh, he said if we get a webcam that... And that's what I'm going to get. It's the, the 4K um, Logitech that sticks. It'll clip on top of your thing. So you'll have your own cam. That'll be good. That's Joel, guys. That's Joel and his Joe friend. Money. Randy. Br Randy. Randy. Randy from Kansas. But he's no, not in Kansas anymore. He's not from anymore. Kansas. Oh he's, he's not, not from Kansas. Kansas. Well, no, that's all in how you say it because he is from Kansas. He's not from Kansas. Just a few days ago, he was in Kansas. So he came... From Kansas. Yeah, but this morning he was in North Carolina. But he, but he came, he came from, from North Carolina. When did you fly in? Oh, uh, Friday. Are your, Friday. Are your arms tired? <laughs> Do you have legs? That doesn't make sense to you, I know. But Hummin, uh, Corey asked the other day. We were talking about. Says hello, Joel. We were talking about hummingbirds, and Hummin and Corey asked a legitimate question: If hummingbirds had legs? Listen. Look, who's legit? Everywhere I have gone, I mean, hey, people have talked about this. They have, bro. They, and I they, have, they, I've it. actually had friends, very, very smart friends, who have said, you know, it's actually a legitimate question. You think so? Because most, no, I don't they think thought so. so. They, they thought, thought so. They thought it was. Because most people have never seen a hummingbird land. That was my thing. I never saw them land. I've never seen so a hummingbird land. I said, on I said if they didn't have legs, they'd be a humming snake, <laughs> not a hummingbird. I'm trying to think. Right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. What other animal doesn't have legs? A snake. Don't encourage them. It just, just don't. No, no, so, no. I'm just saying. It's not a terrible question. It's <laughs> funny, but you know. Hey, Paul. You're a grown man, man. <laughs> you know <laughs> that animals have <laughs> legs. I might have Listen. some pizza for lunch today. I might get a tin. Their legs are detachable. They are not detachable. <laughs> Their legs are not detachable. <laughs> I wonder if that's too loud. Oh, uh, man. We're venturing into the red thing. Um, that's okay. We'll be fine. Are we? Oh, it's like that scene in Mission Impossible, the first one. We're hitting the red. <laughs> sitting there, all the sounds. It's toast. You don't, you, have you, you've seen that movie, right? Mission, first one? Yeah, I've seen them all. The part yeah, where he's going. Yeah. You can't, you can't go into red. I'm a it's Robbie. So <laughs> the difference in the microphones is that we we're switch every time we're in this forum when we're not on the air. I'm switching to this Yeti. I click a button. Now the difference is this Yeti picks up. It's got five mics in it and it's picking up everything. So it's super Every loud, time. super hot. These aren't. These only pick up about one to two inches away. So I have to turn the volume up on these. So we're navigating it, but that's why it's quieter, more quiet. What city with? have I not shouted out yet, Joe? I've done Blunt's Creek, I've done Chocolinity, I've done Washington, Greenville, Grimesland. I'll do Grimes. Oh, I'll do hey, Grimesland. that's a good one. I'll do Grimesland. Grimesland. Um, your, uh, your girlfriend said she wants to go paragliding. Oh, my goodness. Hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. Would you go paragliding? And wait, not just I paragliding. think I would do that. I think I would do that. Look where she wants know, to go paragliding. I know what you're thinking. But, but you got to understand. <laughs> Norman Kirk, where are you? Yeah, seriously. I'd probably go paragliding. Here's my reason why. Is you start out on the ground, and you're running, and then you just let the wind carry you, and you eventually, eventually you're coming back you're down. You're jumping off a mountain, dude. Yeah, but not all the time. There's a place she actually sent me. A, she really wants to do this. She sent me a. Um, I mean, I think it's cool. I'm just saying, like, she, you're kind of jumping off a mountain. So there's a there's a couple like venues like for weddings. Simpson, up in, yeah, Simpson. Up in uh, Mount, yeah, I saw that. I think we'll go with Simpson. Simpson's a good um, one. Yeah. And uh, there's a place where you do paragliding in like the mountains of North Carolina, and it looks really cool. I might have to do that. You can, you can, you can hang glide. You can start by hang gliding we, her off the Ridge. Her and I have. We've done that. We did. We did the hang gliding. Oh, you did a hang glide. Now that was a little different, and I'm not at all downplaying it. I think everybody should go. It's fun, but it's not what you think it is. Okay. You, there's more to it. And to be a really good hang glider, you don't just you can't just go out there and just go out there and do it. Like, you can get messed up. That wind. It's something fierce. Like you so, go and sit there and do it. Do they have like people that go with you? Like yes, help you? yes, tandem. they do. They have yeah. to. They, they, they. No, no, it's not tandem. They hold on to the ropes. There's a rope on each side of the hang of the glider, and they, you have to run and you do all the work. But they make sure basically that the wind doesn't just take you away. Where are they? So, are they with you on the thing, or yes, are they on the ground holding? Yes, yes. So and it's you. like levels. Like they actually gave us a certificate of completion. So, like, if we want to, we can come back and we can advance to, like, the next level. Okay. I think I've still got mine in my truck. But it was fun. 
But you ain't going to just go out there. It's not like you're just going to go out there and run off the side of that, uh, that sand dune and go hang gliding. Did you see the... What if you bring your own hang glider with you? Yeah, no, you... I mean, you can, but you... you know. Did you see the hang glider in whatever country it was that he was supposed to be strapped in next to the instructor, and they take off, and they are thousands of feet in the air immediately. It's on the side of a mountain, and the dude wasn't strapped in. And as soon as the feet left the ground, he's hanging on to the hang glider the entire time by his hands. Yeah. What? So, what? You, what? How what? have you not what? find it what? on YouTube? Just type in hang so glider. So my man's like hang gliding, and the, the only thing time. he's doing is holding on to the bar? The instru- and his, it's, it's his on video. feet are hanging down here? The instructor reaches over and is trying to like hold on to him and support him and find a place to land, but they are thousands of feet in the air. Find that on YouTube. Uh, just type in hang glider um, Holy smokes. disconnected or whatever. And it, it should be the first hit. Dude, it's incredible. Well, and when they come into land, he has to let go. And you're rolling, yeah. man. He has to let go, and you see him just fall to the ground. And well, then, what, imagine how tired you would get. Yeah. What I remember about that is just the, the amount of wind. You just really don't ever take into account just how much wind <laughs> is coming off that a ridge. Tourist. And, and like, that see, jockey yeah, ridge. he's a tourist. Yeah, yeah he, it's, this is his first it, time. It just makes you feel like you can get swept away. Just about. <laughs> Not saying it'll happen, but it, that's the biggest thing. You can't. <laughs> What's happening? Dude, I was so, oh, my goodness. <laughs> I'd have never thought to have laughed at it. That's somebody else's plight. <laughs> plight. 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 Is that it right there? That's it, yeah. <laughs> Rewind that. These people got to see it because they need to, well, here. Camera. Restart. All right, so this clearly, <laughs> this clearly is a true story. Yeah, we're going to show you. <laughs> this is so funny. All right, so. <coughs> oh, my goodness. Let's see this if is we can so get funny. the glare away. Play it. I know, I gotta get oh. my screen turned down so they can see it clearly. This is so oh, funny. Lord. Wait, I gotta watch it again. <laughs> oh, my screen just went really dark. I don't Uh-oh. know. Oh, right, this here we dude's holding. Now, look, they're gonna this. take off. He is holding on. He's not connected. <laughs> <laughs> did he mean to do that, though? No! <laughs> what is it? Why did that now, happen? Now, look how high they're about to go. They're, oh, like, not geez. even close. Is there dude, any. Is, is, is there any, any. Oh, my gosh. Dude, isn't it. Watch well, I love this first clip where he's going, and now oh, he's like. Man, he's dude. like, whoa, whoa, whoa. He's hanging on to him. It should not be funny. No, it shouldn't be funny. Like, those are tall trees. I know, man. It, but it is funny. I don't, I don't understand, I, like, why did it happen? <laughs> did they ever explain why it happened? <laughs> Look at the, like, the rooftops. Dude, I'm just telling you right yeah, now. Yeah, the dude just didn't click in. Oh, man, dude, I lost it. I lost it. I'd have failed. I'd have, I'd have, I'd have been like, on the ground. You know what my, like, it might be a serious scream. I always joke around with it like on roller coasters, but I'd have probably been like, ah! <laughs> <laughs> How much trouble do you think the um, instructor oh, dude, got? How much t- money now, here he goes. Made. He's going he's gonna to so fall off. So that's the instructor in the blue? Yeah. Now, look, he just drops off and falls oh, to the ground and God. tucks and rolls. What did he break? And, uh, both his wrists. Better break him down there than break look, him up I mean, tops. How did look at that, that dude. happen, man? He do, he's like, ah, oh, yeah, bad decisions were made. Look how high they are, though. That's incredible. I don't understand, man. Like, oh, oh that's he's hanging on for those pants, man. Yeah, because you I, know that whole time the instructor's just, what have I done? What have I done? What have I done? Dear Lord, please don't let this man. Lawsuit, 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 lawsuit. Dude, yeah, but you're not even thinking lawsuit until you get to the ground. Like right now, you're just thinking, don't let this man yeah, die. Yeah, seriously. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah, that is. Yeah, crazy, actually. Jeremy. That's right. I mean, they do call it hang glide, and Chris Vester said they do call it hang glide. <laughs> That's true. Yeah. <laughs> Where's my know. notes? It's not it's funny. Just funny. Right here. I'm telling you. I'm gonna give me some breakfast after this, bro. Gotta feed the beast, bro. I didn't get a chance to get anything on the way out this morning. Oh, it had to be a major lawsuit. It had to be. <sighs> so. Thank you, Robbie. He survived. It can be funny. If the guy would have, um, if he would have perished. I, I wouldn't have been laughing. I would have checked myself before. He would have checked himself before he wrecked himself. Something like that, yeah. Check yourself before you wreck yourself. All right, guy booted from an airplane. One minute. Yeah. One minute, bro. One minute. 
He didn't apply the seven Ps. <laughs> seven Ps? What so, Omar, um, as a little, is uh, one of my Marine Corps buddies. The seven Ps to make sure that proper safety has taken place and you are properly prepared. Properly prepared. I don't know if I like that. Properly prepared. That's funny. Ace. Properly and purposefully prepared. I think that's yours. I don't, I'm not real sure what happened here. Yeah, just I got mine. I got my story. Because we got to talk about this story. It's really cool. Dude, dude was trying to get some gains. Is this segment? Uh, segment one. Yeah. But this time we can get the uh, guy kicked off airline. Yeah. Now this guy, guy this guy does this guy looks like a hipster. The guy who got kicked off the airline. Right. See you, Adam Carnes. Peace, love, and grace. No. There we go. Corey is opening. Oh, I finally got my mic in a good spot. What's up with that? <laughs> and good morning, Simpson. Corey here with the Beyond Limits Morning Crew, hey, and we are hey, cutting Corey. up in this studio. <laughs> studio B, my talking about all like sorts. So I'm hard. telling you, I believe it. I, why were we laughing at that last So. <laughs> Let's get you caught up to speed if you're just listening on the radio, if you're not on the live stream. We just showed a video, a hang gliding video, of someone who was literally hanging off the hang glider while the instructor <laughs> was comfortably fastened safely. Yeah. And I wonder how long that flight lasted, man. It, like it was about two minutes. Yeah. Between two and three minutes. You know, it is one of those things. I just want to clarify, everything was fine. The guy did suffer some injuries to his yeah, wrist. Like broke he broke, wrist. His, broke both of his wrists. Yeah. And um, but he didn't fall, and, and he, he's okay now. But I'm just wondering how it happened, and yeah, uh, wow. I can promise you one thing, Corey. That was not that guy's best vacation. Ever. No, it probably wasn't. <laughs> but you know, he could probably that's a that's a good story to tell. That's a for great, the rest of his life. You know what I mean? Yeah, he can tell that's a that great story. story to tell. Show that video at you know family functions, <laughs> Christmases, Thanksgiving. Hey, look what I did. You Remember know? that time. You almost died. <laughs> yeah, two man. minutes. I had to hang on to the instructor's leg. I, can't, in the I just arm wonder how long it. Ladder. You know, I wonder. I wonder if they ever le like released the audio of it. I'm I sure they know, could. I'm sure it'd be filled they, with beeps. Heavily oh. edited yes. audio. <laughs> I wonder whether I think was it would it, sound like this. Yeah. Wonder was a lot of profanity in it, or was there was the guy please, just chilling? Please. Like, hey man, can you just land this thing very soon? Yeah. You know, uh, he's struggling, know. but hey, <laughs> wild. But we're talking this morning about a about a lot of things, specifically best vacation you've ever taken, yep. or where do you want to go on your next vacation? Absolutely. Let us know. We've been talking about it all morning. We got it. Paul's got a great story. Yeah. So if you're on the live stream, that will never ever ever happen to me. Yeah. So if you're on the live stream right now, um, search your uh, daily show. You're going to see us, and you're also going to see a fourth character up there, which is a picture of a guy who's in skinny jeans and a t-shirt. Anyways, um, he Is was that the on, actual guy. That That's the guy. He was on an American airline flight. Okay. And he ends up getting kicked off. And for all the reasons to be kicked off, I don't think I've ever seen one like this. This dude needed to work out so bad mm -hmm. that he wouldn't stop doing pull-ups. Really? <laughs> they're they're mid-flight. And he, for whatever reasons, opens <laughs> up his carry-on <laughs> bag container, you know, the you overhead, start and starts doing pull-ups. And, well, the flight attendant comes up to him and is like, sir, you, you can't do pull-ups on an airplane, sir. And he's like, I, I need to get my gains. Must do pull -ups. And he will not stop doing pull-ups. So they have to land at the near. This is a legit. <laughs> this sounds made up, it's but it's not. It's a legitimate story. He, he, they have to land at the nearest airport because this dude would not stop doing pull-ups on an airplane. I don't know how to feel about this. I, I don't, don't like I applaud his efforts should, to be fit. like oh should we be upset about, you know, him just not listening or should we be upset about that they landed the plane and inconvenienced everybody listened. just because of He should have listened. Him trying to get some gains. Yeah, mm -hmm. I don't know though. Yeah, so I can't even do a pull up. So I would never like ever. One? Like not even one. You can do one. You I can can't do, do one. one. I I've, can. No, you I can't do, do one. one pull yes, up. You can. I promise you. Will you do one now? I can't do it. Open that door. 
and hold I on to the molding. I am unable to do a pull up. I don't believe uh, you. know you. what we need? What, what is that but thing that they pull sold pull on the commercials, Joe? Isn't it like a, the perfect pull up? You hang, <laughs> I'll, in, you hang I'll get it in there. the door frame and you can do a pull up. Hey, yeah. We'll get you to do a pull up. I'm not, I can't do a pull up. Anyways, guys, so uh, hang on tight because we are coming back with segment two. Don't you go anywhere. Hop on the live stream. We love you. Be back in Woo. a second. Oh, it's all good. Look at that. Point zero. Perfect. 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 Go. I bet, probably straight, if I haven't been on that hang glider, you'd have landed a lot a lot more than the guy on the hang glider, and we'd have just sunk straight to the bottom of the earth. Goo! I would have had to wait no time. But I wouldn't have been pulling myself up. I couldn't have hang on that long. I need to do some. Yeah, I need to do some <laughs> working out. It's time. I know you got one in you. Dude, I don't, man. One I promise. Up. I cannot do a pull-up. I thought it was a push-up. Dude, dude, fat, <laughs> overweight yeah, people nah, that's a pull -up. cannot do pull-ups. I'm not great at pull-ups. So dude, it's a lot of weight. Plane, like, dude, it's a, he was grabbing, he, he was grabbing onto the, the carry-on bag. Um, you know where you put your carry-ons? Uh -huh. He was grabbing onto that. I can, <laughs> see, I can see why people, you, the pythons... I'm thinking, somebody just said, Robbie said if Jared was on the hang glider, he could do a pull-up. And I just had, I don't know about doing pull-ups, but I just, I did, like, if we just switch places with that guy and put Jared in his place. <laughs> I'm just, you're so loud, I'm wondering just how that would have went down with Jared. Like, Jared, you gotta do something! <laughs> just sitting there thinking. Hey, hey, can we just, can legs, we take a pause? Leg, but I think the difference is Jared be kicking his legs. God, <laughs> I'm telling you, man. You can see it, can't you? In my mind, I see it. I, you know, you ever since that, you just have put certain people in. Like, what if you Wait. put Johnny in that situation? Hey, yes. Hey. hey. This is not fluid. <laughs> <laughs> this is not oh, fluid. Joe, could you see your dad on that? <laughs> uh, hey, I think I'm supposed to be Can we just take a minute and recognize the fact that Corey called me loud? You are. I'm I loud did. too, I was though, man. Say something. I'm loud, bro. I'm loud. <laughs> I, I don't even. But I don't be mean, screaming. But I don't really. I do it. And I can't help it. My voice just carries sometimes. How do you feel about CrossFit? It's, it's good. I, I I was doing it for a while, and I got nothing against it. I just kind of lost interest in it. But it's yeah. a good workout. I think anything that inspires you yeah. to get more fit yeah. and more healthy is good. Because you can get fit doing that stuff. Now, how but a do lot you of feel about the title or the cliche CrossFit? What are you talking about? What the fact cliche? that you know who's doing CrossFit, not by the way they look, but by the way they talk. No, not by the way they talk, by the way they post on social media. Right. Yeah. All my WODs in today. Yeah, yeah. It's just, it's just the culture of the. It's just. The Is culture. it a thing of the past? No. You don't think CrossFit? Mm -mm. Dude, no, I, I man, it's growing. It's, Anybody it's still who growing. gets out there and betters themselves, it's still growing. Yeah, but I, I'm I'm not saying I won't ever Get do it. another CrossFit workout. I would put but WOD I, up I on your page really every single day. Yeah. Do it. Um, Be proud. But yeah, no, it's good stuff, man. Brian Abrams, what's up, brother? My step brother. Who? My step Brian Abrams. Huh, he's he's watching that. this morning. Mm. Here's your positive. <coughs> what happened to our girl? What girl? She took the day off. What y'all talking about, man? The news girl. The news girl. Positive news update. Oh, this is Karen your Johnson. News. Karen Johnson. Karen yeah, Johnson. Very good. With your positive news update. Tell me. <laughs> CrossFit. JoJo Bonner says CrossFit <laughs> makes the healthiest broke people he's ever met. Always, Always injured. Injured, but fit. What's well, a lot yep. of? It's a lot of uh, snatches and grabs. Yeah, a lot of uh, contortions. Just you're putting a lot of pressure on your joints. Yeah. I don't, and that's my only thing with it. Like you are, man. You're just locking those joints out repetitively, you know. And it's with again. sometimes it's with considerable weight, yeah, significant weight, you know. So yeah, again, I just say do 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 your thing, man. Do your thing. If it's jujitsu, jujitsu, jujitsu. If it's jiu wrestling, so I did, man. I joined last night and weights, I had a great if it's time. Running. Man. I was it your first night? Last Whatever night? it is. Last Let's night was the first night since I had been a member there a few years ago, and I only went. But I'm gonna take it. I'm gonna Could go you immediately that. go in there and start like jujitsuing? On some level, yeah. There's people in there. Can I see some jujitsu moves? Yes, please, please, please there's, do some jujitsu on him, please. There's some. No, there's, no, 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 no
no, 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 me. There's some no, no, very no, no, no. squared away see. dudes. So there's some very squared away dudes in there, and then of course there's people in there who were like me. I think there was one guy who had just started last night too. So I didn't have a gi, and a few other people didn't. But um, no, nah, man, it's fun, man. It's a good little workout. It's different. You got that's the thing. Sometimes you get caught up doing the same stuff. It gets very monotonous. Yeah. And you're just like, I gotta switch this up. Um. And, uh, you see, old Connor got arrested. Uh, lately? Yeah, yesterday. Last night. For yesterday. what? What for? I didn't see I that. Didn't see what Somebody for. was taking a picture of him, so he took. Hey, the saw him. <laughs> no, but that does sound like his style. He he took their phone from him and smashed it. Oh wow! And they arrested him for that. You can't do that. That's damage to property. <laughs> you can't. I can't take your phone and throw it on the ground and break it. That's illegal. One hundred percent of the time. Yes, I know. That's, so I don't know. Yeah, you just thought. So it. what if like I hand my phone to Corey and Corey drops it and cracks it? That's can the, I have him arrested? Yeah, it's intent. intent. You have to have intent. Intent. The intent was clear. <laughs> he physically took his phone unwillingly and smashed it. Yeah, it all comes down to intent. Was yep. it? Was it on video? Well, until they smashed it. <laughs> well, how do we know it was? How do we know he didn't do it? I'm sure there's. Oh, one, I'm there's just kidding, man. I'd never do that. Because everybody knows Connor McGregor. Yeah. Dude. Okay, so so his reputation. Um, it helps determine intent. Yeah, in in court. I don't understand what you're confused about. <laughs> well, about intent, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I'm not confused. I'm just saying we don't. I'm innocent until proven guilty. He takes the guy's phone. He's recording it, and he goes like this, like he's just gonna mess with the guy, but he's not actually wanting to do it. Slips out of his hand, hits the ground, cracks. The intent was just to mess with the guy and joke with him. He didn't actually mean. But that. I don't think. He, I don't think. But he, because he's Conor McGregor, I could kind of see that, but he. I'm just saying. If the I'm just clear, saying. I'm just saying. Yeah. If the intent's clear, though. By default, you know. what Jared just said is this. I didn't mean to shoot that guy. Yeah. The gun accident went off, and then the cop would say, oh, okay, well, he didn't have the intent to, so you're not going to jail today. Yeah. Hey, but that's happened. See? See what just happened there? <laughs> See no. what I just compounded it, and you I just, just used uh, I just used Robbie's word to compound. You did. Yep. Compound yep. movements. Compound. So yeah, it, no, it, it does come down to um, probable cause ultimately. Yeah. Will more people are more people probably going to believe that Conor McGregor did it? Absolutely. With a judge, yes. Yeah. So I, I, do, I think he's kind of a punk. I'm not yeah. trying to take up. I the used guy. to. I but used dude, to. Dude can fight. I'm just saying. Except yeah, he's lost he's a lot been, here he's lately. He's doing a lot of drama stuff lately, though. And he's got a good beard. Yeah, well. He yeah. does have a good beard. Yeah, no. <laughs> oh, I can't post it. Oh. What? Third. Oh. Can I see it? It's on your It's on your feed. You can find it. You can seek it out. It, right here, it's on your uh, feed. Oh, I'm not going to know then. Yeah. You, you, you'll know. Uh. <laughs> you know. <laughs> oh, that's funny. That is funny. It's a bit old. Lord, so now we, we, we're talking about vacations and all that. Now oh, yeah, vacation. McGregor smashing phones and uh, so what would else? Would you like to go to Ireland? That's a good point. That is Cross a good point. It. Just to get back and to conclude it, he can't take the phone from a person. Yeah, you're right. You can't I, physically I remove that. it from the person's yeah, hand. That and sense. that was good. We were kind of talking about point Strong D. arm robbery. Good job. No. Nah. Good job. Probably That's doing good. like Larson. Good job, but, Jojo. You know how it is. Oh, man. I was just being Did a I have antagonist. A... That's all. What song is this? Speaking of Fiji, God. I didn't realize this. Fiji, Fiji. water. We were talking about Fiji. And Why I had are it in you being hand. fancy with this Fiji water? And... It was in the... It was, they had it up next yeah, to the cash yeah. register yeah. in Somebody the gas station, so I grabbed it. It saved me from having to wait in line, Yeah. which was forming. So... Um, Corey, Corey for law, for law. is going to be for coming law. on the show soon, and I can't remember the date, but Heck I know it's yeah, in the man. calendar, so that'll be cool, because he's going to be talking about iron sharpens iron, if you're not a part, if you're a I man. I am a part, and they, they, they Are you really? called me out the other day, yeah, they said, welcome to our new member, Jared, and awesome. there's another guy on there named Jared, and he said, welcome, Jared, and then he put in parentheses, I've always wanted to say that, and then Corey wrote back. You're an idiot, Jared. And then put in parentheses, I've always wanted to say that, too. <laughs> That's funny. It you see, funny. he moderates it. It's, it's good. Um, <laughs> iron sharpens iron is a man's a men's, um, gospel or spiritual men's group. Right. And it's just encouragement. Mm-hmm. Like, we, we 
this video, this live stream is on Iron Sharpens Iron because yeah. we post to it uh, majority of the time. Not every time, but the majority we post to it because it's three dudes talking yeah. about the gospel, so it fits perfectly. Yeah. Um, so or yeah, it's good. Group. If you or Conor McGregor, yeah. So if you're just Find it later today on Facebook. It's a good group. I think, I'm a, I think I'm a member you of may, it. You may be. I think I am. There's a lot yeah. of people spreading, so it's good. Oh, man. Oh, boy. I don't know why that was so loud to me. I don't, it was really loud. Andy! Everybody got six points. When does the, when does the ACC game start? It starts today. today. Oh, there you go. Today! Today is the day. Today is the day. They're Corey, I'm gonna have to eat today out today. probably right. for breakfast yeah. and lunch today. Okay, do I didn't it. have time. To do it. I'm getting bugged. I was like, do it. Uh, yeah, Are y'all gonna come that in? That dude literally, he was like, I'm getting bugged. <laughs> I don't care what happens. Can you describe <laughs> on the radio how Bojangles makes you feel? <laughs> you can like, would you be able to go? Yeah, y'all, y'all are yes. You know, Walker is brain. Yeah, number 20. 20th in Who? The country. Walford? Yeah. So you got some really great games today, man. Wake Forest versus Miami, a couple of 11 and 13 win teams. <laughs> yeah. Notre Dame and Georgia Tech, 14 and uh, 13 and 14 win teams. South Carolina State and Maryland, seven win teams. Mike Graham is Come on, guys. Come on. I mean, this Notre is Dame. pathetic. Pittsburgh and Boston College, 13 to 14 win teams. Notre Dame was playing Are we on after this song? I know. Are we on after this song? No. All right, cool. All right, so. scared, man. Hey, be prepared. Hey, when we go back on, Joe is going to talk about what Bojangles means to him. Oh, Joe, Joe, dude, money. Joe, Joe, that's a great. Joe money. Dude, I haven't had a Bojangles Worst in a while, vacation man. ever. Yeah, Joe, man, he had a good, that's a good, I that is it. a good one. Yeah. I don't know, though. I don't know if I could find a worse vacation oh, in my brain right now. Do you have one? Dude, one time my thinking. dad, we were like, we always go to Myrtle Beach every year. Yeah. And we've been going to Myrtle Beach every year since I was like five years old. <laughs> and my dad, man, he was, my dad's just awesome. But one time he put his, he was getting in the car, getting everything ready, and we drive off, we're going down the road, and he's like, where are my glasses? My dad doesn't wear contacts. He wears glasses and glasses only. But yeah. sometimes he'll take them off back in the old days and put on those big sunglasses. Yeah. Right? So he, he's like, man, where's my glasses? So he stops and he backs up to see if he can find them. And <laughs> crunch. He went, they broke his glasses, ran over his glasses, and he uh-huh. had to. We spent like all day at Lens Crafter trying to get new glasses. Um, yeah. National Lampoon's vacation. What? Somebody died on the cruise ship? I love that. <gasps> Somebody died on our cruise ship. Really? Yes. When we went on a cruise, we had to leave. We were supposed to leave at a certain time, but we couldn't because uh, an older lady got on and had a heart attack on the... And so you that that boat ain't leaving until the investigation's done. Bruh, yeah. So the cops had to come on, and we're like... So we're sitting at the port, and you see Which like... port? Where were we at? It was at the border of South South Carolina and Georgia. It was a small one. It was a Carnival cruise line. I don't. I don't. It wasn't one of the bigger ones in Florida. It was South Carolina, like um, and Georgia. What is what is that? Um, uh, I'm not gonna remember. I've only been there matter. once for this. Yeah, it but it, yeah, it was in the middle of nowhere. But yeah, so we get on, and this lady has a no, heart attack. Uh, Melissa said no. They got electrocuted. Was it electric? Yeah, unit? Jacksonville. And then she, she said, said, Lord have mercy. Well, I didn't investigate it. I'm sorry. And that oh, was man. rumor. I want to say that was rumor. Because I'm pretty sure they didn't get on the loudspeaker and say, uh, <laughs> said, Who did you go with? <laughs> Shouldn't we be sleeping right now? <laughs> this is great. It's 830. This She's, is better she than should, she should some have guy Charleston. Probably. Thank you. It was Charleston. Charleston. Yeah. But I will Lord, say that a, electrocution did, in fact, cause her to have a heart attack. It caused her heart to stop. So, by default. Anyways. True cause of death is electrocution. Probably. So, anyways, so the cops have to come on and investigate it. So, everybody on the cruise ship is is packed. Or just sitting there waiting to to go. Yeah. Oh, wait. So, this is before you even leave the port. Yeah. So, so did they, like, put put it into overdrive and, like, fly to the port? I don't know, because it didn't really... Did it delay? I don't think it delayed us getting there, but we she were behind several hours. Zoo in Jacksonville. Is that a joke? Like, 
Paul's home is the zoo. Because I have he no. Is a maybe we went. Maybe we animal, went on different vacations. Tiger. Yeah. Lion. Bonner said we that the one that they had the bad experiences. We were stranded polar at sea bear. for a day. Could be a polar bear. Towed overnight. No power. No air. No food, etc. Missed our port. Coast guard circling overhead. The best part was we woke up to all the fire doors closed, and all I can think is Titanic. Get dressed. Let's go. (laughs) Send me the photos. Let's go. Yes, send me the photos because I want to see, and so do. Yeah, I got. Send the photos. I want to see the photos. I I want to see some. What's the photo going to be of? Oh, Uh, like it's like you beside the the Jacksonville, Florida sign. Yeah, it wasn't Charleston. Well, Jacksonville then. But it's the child. That, that's close to the border, isn't it? Jacksonville? Yeah, kind of. It's close to the border of Florida and Georgia. But not Georgia and South Carolina. Uh, Florida, Georgia yeah. Line. Florida, Georgia line. That's right. Whoa. Where do most cruise ships go out of? Uh, Orlando? Port Canaveral. Port Cala- Canaveral. That's where we go. Port, Port Canaveral. Canaveral. Co- Port- Whoa. Whoa. Those, Whoa. Are the, those are the big ships. Port My Carnival. Facebook thing stopped. Hold on. We were going Royal We're still good. That's just you. Uh, Paul, were you on the Carnival cruise when that lady died? Yes. Yeah. All right, for real. Cruise. Corey, is your Facebook live feed still going? It just looks like it just stopped. Yeah, so did mine. Stop. I wonder if it's uh, Wi-Fi. We have no internet. Mine's, it's Wi-Fi. Okay. I'm very glad it's Wi-Fi because we're still live and I'm direct lined in. Well, what's sure. up with uh, why is the Wi-Fi off? I don't know, but we just lost eight, like eight people. But we're still live. Oh. I don't know. Well, <laughs> me, you, well, how did our, Corey, how did our, three, how did our, yeah. what you call it, go off? I don't know, because mine's still on. So y'all got bumped somehow. So we're still live. It's just ours can't right be there. Just as long as y'all don't kick me off. Robbie, Robbie's still up here. Robbie Robs. I'm about to go look it All up right. on my phone. I think we got it. All right. I think. Mine says I'm able to join network. Well, mine did something. Here, but and this, my here. friends, is why uh-huh. I do a direct line in. We're sure it's Connor Media 5G, right? Yeah, it's oh, definitely that's 5G. Oh, because you're standing there. I still see you, Liz, which I, is I I see you now, baby. Hey, what's the password? Will you type it in, Joel? Do you know it? Joel yeah. Money Jones. <laughs> Just give it out to everybody all over the year. <laughs> Get some free Wi-Fi. All ten of them. Did Melissa post a picture? Because she just posted something and I she can't did. see what it, it is. She did. It says something right here. Uh, said it, they said, said they, they see you, the but comments. they lost the comments. Wait, which one did you try to get? On? Zoo Apple Parkway, Apple. Cruise Terminal, Jacksonville Zoo. I don't I don't see him. Hey. Why is it trying to get on Capitol Coast? We can't quit you either, Robbie. Oh, money. Liz just sent eyeballs. <laughs> there we go. We're back. I don't know. Yeah. Well, hold on. I still got all. I think I have. No. I've got all the comments. I, I don't think I have all of them. I never went off. So. Yeah, my That was head. cool, man. I wonder if I'm even on Wi-Fi. Maybe that's why. Oh, man. Oh, Lord. <laughs> <laughs> Omar, you're funny. He's been on fire today, hasn't he? Omar's good. I got a... We, He's been on fire today. The, the Fox story I One told minute. you all about the other day. Yeah. Omar, there were four of us that were assigned to that one. Um, there, there were four of us that were assigned to that one. Oh, somebody was just requesting the password. Me. I was. I I'm just, sorry. Request okay, again. I just I shared just it. it. I got it. I shared it. We're good. There you go. That was my Thanks. bad. I thought it was. How'd you do that? That's pretty cool, actually. Yeah. All right. I'm back on my iPad. One minute. Two. This is segment two. Melissa, can you repost? Oh, segment two. Segment two. Do I open this? Um, yeah. Actually, you do. Wow. It looks like we got a lot of notes. We really don't. All it says up here is. Yeah. Jared opens. Talk. Paul. Are you? Are they hook. getting in on this too? Yeah. So for those of you on the live stream, you just saw me do 10 pull-ups. 
So I can do pull-ups. I was just kidding last time. I did just did 10 whoa, of them. Whoa, knocked whoa, them out. whoa, whoa, whoa. What? When did you great. do these? Corey, I'm yeah. feeling great. And for those on the radio, <laughs> 0% of that is accurate. What That's right. I can't do a pull-up. <laughs> I was going to say, where did do this pull dude up. do 10 pull-ups? <laughs> mentally. He mentally did. I did. He willed himself. He, pull- he willed the pull-ups. <laughs> yeah, we, we want to know what your best vacation is. And then uh, JoJo Bonner, one of our uh, Beyond Limits family, came up and said, also, what is your worst vacation? <laughs> and there's been a few which, surprises. Which turned into a story that Paul's telling. So Paul's telling the story about his worst vacation ever. Yeah. And Paul's wife is commenting on Apparently, I don't remember stream, like, anything. No, correctly. that wasn't right. No, we weren't there. No, this didn't happen. So and somebody was di- awesome. somebody died on one of our cruise ships, and we had to, you know, Not the cops awesome. had to come on. But other than that, apparently, all of my story was wrong. I didn't know where we docked at. I didn't even know what state we, we took were off in. Between Georgia <laughs> well, how and long South ago Carolina. was this? How it's, long? Ago? It's been years. Years. Uh, like seven, last year, seven, six, seven. Maybe eight years, And seven, you've been on six. a lot of cruises, haven't you? Yeah. Yeah, well, there you go. Six years. Let's go with six years. Six years. Yeah. Okay. I bet, who knows? I might be wrong about that, too. I'm sure she's going to get up there and let me know. So, <laughs> But uh, either way, uh, dude, that man, that hipster. Yeah. Oh, yeah, man. So, yeah, we <laughs> talked about this in the uh, last hour. Man inadvertently proves that hipsters look alike by mistaking a photo as himself. Um, it's a running joke that male hipsters look alike with their flannel shirt, stick beards, also Paul Armstrong, <laughs> and seemingly <laughs> off brand tributes. You know, but a comical incident in the MIT Technology Review might just prove that they really do all look alike. This publication was published as an article by the Brandeis University about the hipster effect, and it studied how nonconformists usually act at unconventionally the same way to end up <laughs> being exactly I'm the being. same. To being conformed. I'm being myself so, exactly, along with, exactly. with the other 100,000 people. <laughs> Isn't it wild? So the MIT Technology Review, this article was published there, and they took a photo of a guy, and uh, when they published it, this other guy, right after the article was published, uh, promptly wrote a nasty email to them claiming that he was the guy in this photo the in the article. Guy. Yeah. Well, uh, Gideon Litchfield, editor-in-chief, said, um, no, man, we this is not you. We have a consent form signed by the guy in this photo, and it's definitely not you. And the guy <laughs> finally looks at it and says, oh, it's really not me. You know, And he said that he, along with several family members and close friends, were just positive it was him. So, so have you ever correctly. miss? have you ever saw something that you thought was you Absol- and it wasn't uh, you? Yeah, I think. I'm pretty sure I have, yeah. man. Yeah, most definitely. I mean, you, you don't know. You never know. I mean, it might be. I mean, this guy, the picture, if you're looking at it on the live feed, I believe we've shown it um, earlier. But this guy's standing off to the side. Um, I see what you're getting at. It's yeah. hard to mistake. It's hard to mistake someone yourself. else as yourself or you for someone else. You know what's versa. not hard to yeah. mistake? What's that? The love of our producer, oh, Joel, for Bojangles. You know, we're talking about vacations, and I think that Joel <laughs> has a small vacation plan after the show, don't you, Joel? <laughs> yeah, right to Bojangles, baby. Bojangles. <laughs> Right to that it's drive probably through. the best short vacation a man could ask well, for. So you can't beat it. Oh, but well, you, okay. Explain your love for Bojangles. This this is producer Those Joel. Those chicken by the way. biscuits, man. You just cannot beat it. And then <laughs> you got right. the sweet tea. You got to get a large sweet tea. And if the salt and the seasoning on those fries. But do you throw <laughs> in extra it? seasoning? If that yeah. lady puts the salt and seasoning on those fries, that perfect. lady. That is perfect that because lady. it's always oh, the yeah. angel. It's always she's the lady. An angel. You already know it's the lady. Do you get a you cheddar bow it. thrown on the no. side? You don't. Cajun filet meal. So, Randy, do do they have uh, Bojangles in Kansas? They don't have one in Kansas, so I was excited when I got to come home and get Bojangles. Dude. Is it like one of the first things you did when you get back? Of course. That was the first thing I did. <laughs> Very yes. first thing. Every I feel single you. time. I feel you, bro. I can't imagine not having a Bojangles around me. I feel like I'm on an island. <laughs> like, what the world, man? If you're a good Carolina boy. You got to get you some Bojangles. I feel you, That's man. right. It's Bo time. Look Guys, we are I, living I it up in here sponsor. talking about Bojangles' best and worst vacation. Stand by. We got the last segment coming up here shortly. Up next. Live with Br- Abandon Newsboys. Yes. Live with Brandon Newsboys. Live boys. with Brandon Nicholson. Live, Live with, with Abandon Newsboys. Live with Abandon. Is that the name of a song? Really? Oh, well. I never. Live with Abandon? Although, okay. I guarantee. No, I haven't watched the whole thing. Whatever you put on the teleprompter, <laughs> we will read. Oh, my God. I 
It's one of those. <laughs> did you like Napoleon Dynamite? I didn't like Napoleon Dynamite, but I think it's Will Ferrell. No. He's like no. no. It's the same. Normally, it's like one, like the same people. What's that movie where he's running? He's like, we're going streaking. Yeah. I don't know that. Who? Who's going streaking? <laughs> yeah, really. Well, Oh, we just had a great conversation. Sorry too. about that. Um, we were talking Will Ferrell. Welcome back to the live stream. Did they lose? You're my boy, no, Blue. They, You're my they, boy. They didn't. So we're this is what Charlie three Brown's three teacher kids. sounds like. I had to put the Yeti back on. Sorry. Yeti. Yeah, Yeti's back on. Sorry. We, we want the I Yeti. Gotta, I gotta get used to that. Oh, I'm like, all right. Yeah. Every, every time we switch, I wish it was a way that I didn't have to do it, but um. I do. Was that a was that a uh, toss over to the producer who's controlling everything? Else? <laughs> yeah, it's got to be. It's done through the software. Um, yeah. Sorry about that. So we were talking about how old school the movie is. Very funny. Will Ferrell. Is Will funny. Ferrell's a funny man. Corey says Will Ferrell is not this. funny. <laughs> is that the movie? No, no, no. I said not that. Tranquilizer funny. dark. You're 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 crazy, man. Like, I said not you're, that you're funny. Crazy. That, that's almost how it sounds. Too. Yeah, that's it funny. is, man. That's a great movie. Y'all want to hear a Kermit the Frog impression? Yes. Do you really? Yeah. Here we go. Sure. You ready for this? It's weird. Don't look at me, though, because I can't okay. do it when people look at me. All right. And tell me. Close your eyes and imagine Kermit, I'm, Kermit I'm the Frog. I'm closing them. Kermit the Frog here. Does that sound like him? <laughs> yes, yes, it does. It does. Like, can you say anything thing? other than Kermit the Frog nah, here? There's a, no, there's a guy that I Kermit work with here who sounds like Kermit the Frog to me. Really? I, can't, I won't say his name, though. He probably, he's, he's not watching this, but I won't say his name. Who sounds like him when yeah. he talks regularly? Yes. Really? Yes. <sighs> it's not spot on, but it just reminds the, the The depth quality of his voice definitely sounds like that. Or the lack of depth. It would it be, I guess it would be a lack of depth. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So they're having this whole conversation about um, you going skydiving. This is Yeah, really? and the only, I love that woman to death, man, but yeah, I, I told like, her, I'm like, oh, I'm you going, go by I yourself. Want to go. So where were we? we were at King's Dominion a couple of years ago with her cousins. They got that ripcord. Yes, they did. They they did the little. She wanted to do the little thing where like it's not the slingshot, but they take you up, you pull the pin, and it drops you and yeah. slings you. Oh yeah, I've done that before. Yeah, yeah. she wanted to yeah, do I've that. that I said you go right ahead. I said I will pay for you to go. I said but I ain't doing it. I said at least you have somebody to record it. And the, her cousin's husband, he was right on board with me. He said yeah, I ain't doing that. And he was like he his his thing was, and I agree with this too. It, I, I'm gonna be straight up about it. I don't think he was being phony. He just, he just, his concept was, I just don't feel the need to be dropped for, you know, like that. Yes. You know what I'm saying? But my thing was that plus the heights, and uh, plus it was like thirty dollars a person. So, uh, but yeah, her and her cousin did. The, the girls went while the dudes, you know, happily stood on the ground and watched him fall for like just sixty mostly. seconds. That, that's that's all. Long. That's all you get, Jeremy Smith. That's the only Kermit the Frog I know. I could do Donald Duck too. I can do Donald Duck. Do yes, it. you can. <laughs> wow, that's good. It's really good. <laughs> so hey, that Chris Rice cartoon song was really an uh, interesting song, by the way. Who I don't remember that. It's one of those you can't look at me again. What's the Daffy Duck's the other one, right? <clears throat> hey, Daffy he's got Duck. it. I got it. I got a Man, I, got I can't. Hold on. I'm going to turn it off just so you can hear it because I look incredibly stupid when I do the Donald Duck one. So everybody close their eyes. We're switching to my screen. <laughs> Oh that sounds that right. That sounds really good, right? Yeah. That's the only like yeah. thing cheeks were flapping too. They bro. are. I got a lot of cheek movement in that. Um, you just say "old oh boy" with the same. Anyways, so this is the hipster right here. This dude says, like, the magazine posts an article that all hipsters look alike. Yes. And he goes, "No, they don't." And I didn't. Authorized this picture to be used of me, and they Call it said a terrible story. Yeah, I mean, hipsters do not look alike, and I didn't allow this picture to be used of me. And they said that's not a picture of you. Yeah, and he said, my bad. Yeah, apparently, I don't Jeremy understand. Smith said there's two paws on the screen right now. What is going on? I don't know, man. 
There's the Paul in the flannel and the Paul in the oh, ha, Beyond I get it. Come oh, on, I Paul. get it, Jeremy. Jeremy's Welcome funny. Welcome to the party. Welcome to the party. Hey, we should tell That's Jeremy crazy. what's going on in July. Yeah, man. Yes. That, I'm excited about Dude, it. Dude, let's do it. That's going to be breaking fun. Breaking news? We're breaking news. Breaking so, news, Jeremy Smith. Listen up. You give it. You do you it. You give it. Uh, you give it. You okay, give look. So, Here no, we go. Well, I need the name of the conference. This isn't the Baptist. Vertical 3. Vertical 3 conference, right? Vertical 3 conference. Vertical 3 conference in July of this year, Beyond Limits, will be going to that. Originally, normally it's uh, Temple Church goes. Yep. And you, uh, you kids, the youth competes. Ton of surrounded churches go. Well, yes. the thing is, Thousands. here's the thing. Thousands. Now, Jared and Paul, obviously, and myself, but they go to Temple. We're all three are a part of the Beyond Limits crew, and so is Joel. It's going to be really hard for us to keep the show going because it's almost a full week long. Yeah. So Johnny said, hey, let's hey. just take the show to Cincinnati. Hey. Take it to Cincinnati! Take it to Cincinnati. We don't skip a beat. So we're going to go and basically have... A retreat? We're coming to Cincinnati? But it's going to be it's a, it's well, it's a, a business retreat. retreat. For us. It is. It sort of is. Though. We're gonna be, but you guys are going to be able to do the show still. Yep. Yeah. You'll be we'll able be to doing do it. The show every so morning, live are we streaming. Be able to, are we doing it in the room or are we doing it somewhere like in the lobby, baby? Maybe know. in the lobby. It would be cool to do it in the lobby well, where we have other people walking around almost like they do for before Super we, Bowl week. Well, actually, right around the same time that we first got hooked up with Johnny in the station, we hadn't started doing the radio yet. But we were doing, still doing the D six devotionals, and we yeah. we still did the live the live stream from, from the hotel. Was it the hotel though? It was the hotel. Oh, you mean that one? Yeah, yeah, yes. yeah. We did. We, yep. we did at the uh, Four Seasons. Mm-hmm. That and, was uh, the one that we that raised Greensburg. all the money for Heath Hubbard. Yeah, man. So cool. we've we've done it before. Guys. It's gonna be a little different though, because we're gonna we're gonna bring the soundboard and everything, and the we're mic. soundboard mics. Man, we are. I just excited. so help me walk me through it, Joel. How does that work? Like, how is the radio going to be able to play it on the radio? The, we send the signal um, back to um, Chaco, and Chaco puts it out around here. So, is it going to be pre-recorded? No, no. we're live. Maybe mm-hmm. live. How does it reach the tower? How is it? That internet cord that comes right here mm-hmm. is going to send it to Chaco Entity yep. via that software. And it'll play it. Mm-hmm. Just wow. we could be, we could be in, we could be in Tahiti. We could be Fiji. In, I, that might take a second. Yeah. <laughs> now, is there t- like if you're in yes, I Hawaii that, or if you're in Australia right now, is there a delay in internet or is it almost instant? It's almost instant. Michaela, yeah. when she when she called in the other day, that we were responding yeah. back and forth with no delay. So yeah. that's pretty wild, man. I'm that's excited 16 about that. Hours. Yeah, we're How many, excited um, to be there. Paul and I were going to be there anyway. Jeremy's going to work it out. Corey was going anyway. Yes, but I mean for I mean like for our children. Yes, that's what I mean. We're going for our children. Yes, I'm uh, I'm curious just to see. Well, don't be curious. Find no, out. no, no. I want to see. Uh, hey, hey. How so far that is away. This is a from great us. time. We've had a okay. So y'all it's not a, y'all had a lot of new two, viewers. Plus two, three. So it's like three states over, pretty much. Three yeah, states up. Do. It's on this side of the uh, the huh? um, yeah, timeline too. For nine hours. Nine hours. There yeah. you go. Yeah, we should totally do a Beyond Limits cruise. <laughs> when we get our viewership up enough, we'll do that. Now the internet connection for that might not be as good because we'll you're gonna have, pay. Well, we'll Chris, we'll have Chris Tomlin on there. We'll have Lauren Daigle. We'll have Lecrae NF. We'll have a mixture of everybody. Awesome, <laughs> you do remember the escalator? Yeah, I want to. Let's tell the yes. I was getting. Oh I was my trying to leave god! There. We Dude, got a lot of new. Could, you know, could, do you have that video? Put it up there on the live if would, you can. I wouldn't have to find it. I, um, can you YouTube? I jacked myself. Yeah, up, but we have three minutes. Yeah, it won't take long. Go to our Beyond Limits page on YouTube, and it'll be the D6 conference in. Hey, when was that conference? I don't know. August, September. I think it was September. What? What? This is funny. I love him. Oh, yeah. When he fell up the escalator? Yeah. <laughs> fell up the escalator? Y'all about to see some funny video of Corey, man. I believe the children are the future. Teach them well. I saw, I see that. Okay, there you go. August. It was in August. It'll be the yeah. Go back to August. If you look at our page, our page, our page. Um, sure. Type in Beyond Limits and type in D six. That might be one of the easier ways to get us. 
I think I could be on this show and never say a word and just laugh the whole time. It's yeah. I, I think I could do. Are that. we up there at all? Did you have progress? <laughs> Joe, you haven't seen this, have you? It's like dial up. Oh, it's like dial up. Is it slow, bro? September, hurricane week. September. Right. Sep- yeah, that's right. Because of, there was. I think it's because I have so much running on my laptop right now. Joe, I'm gonna tell you something. If you were able to do it and you saw that, oh, it'd be worth it. It was. Oh man. You would be very. And I messed right myself now. up. Ooh. <laughs> Lord. You know what I'm gonna Thinking do, Joe? About it. I'm gonna. I'm gonna find looking, it real fast. I'm looking for it too. I'm gonna send it's you the right link. Here. Which one is it? Um. It's gotta be. You put it on YouTube? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, Maybe. I Maybe. can't remember if you did or not. Where we all at? DC. Doug asked you Greensburg. what's happening, my friend. Do you, you remember what you were wearing? Yeah, I was wearing like a navy shirt. Jeremy Smith said he's going to find it and send it during the next break, so we'll be able to stick it up there. Thank you, Jeremy Smith. Oh, this Y'all, is the this last is... break right here, but we could probably still Wait. at least put it up on the live. This is the last segment? This, this is, is the last, last segment. segment, yeah. Oh, do I open? I think so. Yeah, you do. Aw. Oh, man. How much time we got? Wait a minute, wait a minute. I think Jeremy just did it. Jeremy just did it. There ain't no way. Yep, he, he did it. He's so fast. He uh, found yeah, it. No, he had to have. He found it on Facebook. So we'll find it on Facebook. Y'all don't get off the live stream because no. you're going to see Corey no, fall. No, this ain't the same one. It, this is not the same one. This is just us talking. Now he's close, though. You're in the vicinity. Yeah, so we're talking Bojangles, we're talking vacation trips, we're talking the fact that beyond your Beyond Limits boys, Man. your family here is going to Cincinnati, Ohio we're for a week. to the big city of Cincinnati. July. Do you know what date's in July? The third week in July. And third we're going to do the live show, this live show, radio and live stream from Cincinnati, Ohio, because we're speaking at a conference, yeah, the Vertical man. 3 conference. Isn't that cool? We're not going to skip a beat, man. We're going to yeah. be doing the show from Cincinnati, Ohio. Uh, I technology. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Technology, man. Yeah, Come that on. was my question. How is this going to work? And I like, don't you worry. It's going to work. I'm like, yeah. okay, well, that's all I need to know, man. Yeah. Let's do it. That's, that's going to be awesome. I'm looking forward to it. I certainly am. So, hey, we're talking about vacations. We so are. That's going to be like a business vacation, so to speak. I'm looking forward. I've never been to Cincinnati, so, Ohio. look. I don't think I've been to Ohio. It, it'll be a business vacation, but for myself and with and, and probably you, because you'll be running around watching all our kids compete. Oh yeah, man, it is like is go it pandemonium. Time. Yeah, from oh from, it is go time. You're going from you got Miss Angie. She's got over here. Now we're going over here. Every Run church has that one lady. Place. Yeah, every church has that one lady who control like who has to control everything. Yeah. Or it'll be like this huge have you ever seen a kid painting where you're like, Oh, that's nice, but you ain't got the slightest clue. Yeah. That's what it would be without this one person who's like, Hey, you over here, right? right. You know, oh, and yeah. she's that. And everybody who shows up to the Vertical Three conference every year knows her. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And there's a reason because they hear her yeah. Yeah. every year. So they know her as that lady she, in the church. She, she is the, everybody in the this organization knows her no matter where they're from, which is a good thing. She's, yeah. she's done thing. so much she for, is for all, the church. You know, God bless people who give yeah. up their time yeah. to help other constantly, people. constantly. I mean, it, 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 awesome. doesn't, it doesn't get any better than no. that. Man. Get involved. How many, how many people do you think are going to be at this conference? There's several thousand. Several, several thousand. thousand. The live oh, stream will be boy. viewed by Millions. more than fifty thousand people. Wow. Yep. Dog. So that's cool. Yeah. That's crazy. Well, I am looking forward to that. I just found that out yesterday, and that, that's going to be a fun time. Uh, going to be up in the sharing a room with Joel Jones. I don't know how to feel about that. That dude's, that dude's going to be a prankster. I can feel it. I got him with that <laughs> hand buzzer a while back. Oh, yeah. I'm getting you back. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lord. I wrote my ticket. Oh, Lord. man. It's going to be fun. Because I'm thinking, it makes me feel like, you know, it reminds me of when we went to the D6 conference in Greensboro, how much fun Paul and I had. It's going to yeah. be a good time. And now we've doubled. Our, our our crew, That's, we got Jared and Joel now. Yeah, telling telling you, it's gonna be awesome. It's man. gonna be awesome, Corey. What's the, what is the best vacation you have ever taken? I'm gonna stick with the Gatlinburg one, man. Okay. Uh, we went with my family, and it was very relaxed and laid back. But there was stuff to do. There's a lot of stuff to do up there. Uh, like I said, I would say Disney World, and it was probably from a kid standpoint. But now, 28 years of age, now I kind of want to have that that cool combo of relaxation and mm-hmm. 
fun oh, stuff yeah. to do. Yeah. But um, but yeah, I'm gonna go with that one. I don't know about a worst one. You got a worst one though? Man, I don't have a worst one. I have some funny memories of things that have happened on yeah. vacation, like my dad's glasses falling off the car and him running him over. back and over. <laughs> so you know, some I gotta say this, and it just came to me. That I mentioned the Disney World trips. We went to Disney World at least twice when I was uh, probably going into middle school, and one more time when I was in high school. And each time something happened. Like the first time I went, when I was in middle school, my mom, she helped at a car wreck, a bad car wreck. We were on our way leaving. She had one or she No, no, no. She, we witnessed a terrible T-bone wreck at an intersection. Like the car flipped over and she got out and she helped uh, along with other people. And it was a bad wreck. So that happened the morning we're leaving to go to Orlando, Florida. Flash forward a few more years later, mm -hmm. we're trying to do the same thing. We're just trying to leave. Tarboro to go to Orlando, Florida. Got like what a ten-hour drive ahead yeah. of us. Mm -hmm. She hits a deer. A deer runs out in front of her, and hits the oh. deer. But it, it didn't mess up her car bad. So it's weird. Like great vacations, fun, but it started out with something kind of wacky. It was just kind of mm, like what in the world. So that that had a tendency to happen. So wow. I guess That's that awesome. worst vacation it though. Yeah, it still ended good. Start, yeah, but it's, it's the way they start. Yeah. Paul, best vacation ever. Best vacation Hawaii. That's easy. Mm -hmm. Because, I mean, how often Flamingos, do you get to go penguins. there? Unless you're Robbie Strayer, who was stationed there. Did you, know? you get to have a luau? <laughs> Actually, yes. Did you really? Yes. <laughs> so, um, and it's really cool because they cook uh, their pig or hog, whatever, underneath oh, the sand. Yeah. Like, they wrap it in aluminum foil, and they cook it. Uh, or No, not aluminum foil. They wrap it in palm leaves. Yeah. Underneath Ooh. the sand and cook it, and like the uh, you know I've the Hawaiian girls like are in the uh, the what are they called the 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 skirts I, the hula uh, skirts the hula, hula skirts. skirts yeah watch out now yeah hula skirts and they're I know, like, <laughs> I, know some, I haven't been but I know somebody Corey's like I remember I, Corey's probably owns a few pair of hula skirts don't you I do not <laughs> but it was I fun. resent that you <laughs> resent that statement I, I resemble that remark <laughs> yeah so yeah it went up the Diamond Head Mountain Hawaii is awesome is is if you get chance to go um but for us it's probably a once in a lifetime thing yeah. especially mm -hmm. now you got kids and stuff oh, so yeah. it, it was good do you have a worse vacation um yeah I, I talked about it a little bit earlier on the live stream i think but it, um it, it wasn't it was a very good vacation it just started <laughs> weird uh, everybody's on the cruise ship jackson and we Florida. can't leave because the police show up like we're looking off the top and we're supposed to be leaving instead the police come up and an ambulance comes up and apparently a lady got electrocuted and Ooh. died my word yeah on the cruise ship before we left so we had to leave late lord because they got invest that's something they got to investigate yeah, yeah. you know yeah. so just, unfortunate so you're going nowhere yeah. um so that one got but it ended up being perfectly fine yeah, yeah. So. so it's uh I, i'm a big fan of las vegas Ours. i have yeah i've been five six seven times yeah and i love that's you know lot. i love the shopping the shows the views i mean it's just awesome there's so much fun to do but i think our favorite vacation spot is definitely the beach yeah definitely the beach so we've had an awesome morning yes we've we had have. so much fun thanks for hopping on and joining us on the live stream those tuning in on 98.3 the bridge you're awesome have a great day we love you up next live with abandoned by the newsboys <laughs> stay tuned for kevin and taylor yeah nice nice yeah i was gonna say <laughs> yeah i did that's a Come maybe on, Joel. Should, maybe we should X nay. Like Come on, Joel. Like yeah. Maybe we what should X nay it. I wanna go back. I want yeah, I was about to say. I don't know who I said. wanna go back. Um is that the right video? The Facebook link? Let me see. I think he added one, then he added another one, maybe. No, I think it's the same one he added. Um I'm telling you, man, it's worth the watch. I'll tell you who's excited about it. No, this is it. This is it. <laughs> Omar offers the marine perspective to everything. If you want to know, while well, sometimes we can't post it up there, Omar was a marine buddy of mine, is a marine buddy of mine, and once he, a marine, always a marine, right? Right. He will give you the his the honest perspective. Sometimes oh it's my God. brash. This is terrible. God, don't be okay. Okay, can you send that to Joel, um, Joel on the on the live stream? <laughs> Click, y'all. <Right>. Like, <laughs> you fell on twice. Dude, it's terrible. Oh I literally, that hurt, man. You can tell it hurt too. 
It was such a nagging injury because I like I cut like the inside of one of my toes. Oh, you know what I'm saying? Dude. So it was like you know that, That's and then annoying. I ended it on my thing. <laughs> and then what did I do with the cast stretches? Y'all are about to I watch tried this. To pay, I tried to pay to do <laughs> with one of the band aids I bought. Uh, <laughs> <Jeremy> <laughs> I was so bewildered, oh, and I had what I, what I had that on my mind. I, you, you remember take that? Band-aids? I took a band aid out of the box. I hadn't paid him yet. I tried to pay him with him. I tried to hand him a band. And I happened to be recording when it happened. Oh like man! I was recording. <laughs> Dude, okay, so he's looking. The co- he's oh, looking. All right. Oh yeah, you gotta do the guys. If you're up. still watching the live feed before we leave you, we're gonna show you something funny. It's a throwback. And it's it's worth the wait. It is definitely worth the wait. Oh, Y'all are going to see Corey God. when we were at the D6 conference in Greensboro. So, um, with our videos. Paul, it, can, uh, Jamie said, can you pull it up for the laptop? And you, hit that, yeah, Jer- um, from my laptop. It said TV volume is off. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, That's do you it. pass me that remote control for the TV? And um, crank it up, and we'll turn everything else down so they can hear. This is funny. This is definitely worth the so, wait. So, yeah, guys, check this out. There's still got a, good, a bunch of good uh, viewers on. You guys are in for a treat. This was pretty funny. And I'll get out of the way, too. It was hilarious. This might be really loud, so I'll mess with it. There you go. All right, and, here you go. And crank it. You guys ready? This is it. Oh, hey, hold on. Hit pause. Go up to sound. And uh, click this TV. Oh, look. Check that out. So, actually, we're going to be watching on there. That's really cool. Oh, look, 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 look. Go back. Click. At the very top. This is fun. It's going to be worth it, I promise. The very top, it'll be the sound. Click, click on sound, right. like the um, the volume button. No, no. Very top of your Mac. I'm up here. Okay. Now you see the volume button. You see here. It's right next to the um. It's right next to the signal. Your Wi-Fi button <laughs> to the right. Maybe Bluetooth then volume. Your volume. It's like a little speaker. It's right. You see how it has your battery level? Yes. You look up there. You can see it and it's not up there. It's not up there. How do you not have your volume button? Go to, uh, it might be in settings. We yeah, got that. That is very odd. Um, okay. I'm a, I'm a, which one is it? I'm going to try and do it on my computer then. Um, it's the not a shame. We're going to get it. It's worth it. This is definitely going to be worth it. Um, where did he comment? Okay. Let's see if I can click on it. Yeah, see if you can do that. Just it might freeze the stream if I do it. So we're at we're at when the, what you're about to watch. We are at the D6 conference. Oh yeah. Um, in Greensboro, and what we happens is we get a lot of reference. we get a lot of uh, behind the scenes footage. So I I would record. Corey walking around, I would record random things. Corey would record me walking around. Because you never know when something's going to happen. Yep. That's really cool. And I just happened to be recording when Corey goes up backwards on an escalator. And um, he's wearing flip-flops, right? Yeah. Let's just, yeah. We, it's funny even without the sound. And then it, it, it... Oh, there here we, we go. go. There it goes. Look at my face. He is I'm really in pain, hurt. bro. Corey is bleeding. <laughs> I had to like. Are we gonna reference? What I had to like trot. Did you record that? Yeah. Did you? I want a bandaid now. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Corey going down. Corey going up. It's all funny. Makes me hurt. I'm like, I said, I'm like, ah, I'm, I'm trying to run it off, bro. Dude, like his flesh oh, was hanging hilarious. out of his legs. It was nasty, man. Oh, it was a na- I, I, I'm glad it, it could have been worse, man. Because if I'd have hit that thing just right, woo, woo, oh my makes goodness, me, woo, that was awesome. Makes me cringe, hey, man. Corey, I'm glad you survived. Yeah, man, I, I survived. That's the word. Because I'm telling you, it was funny though. Look, oh, <laughs> don't hurt him. <laughs> Oh, man. Oh, Amber's up here. Just in time. Dog, go it, bro. <laughs> it looks just like Callum, right? There's a dude who we're in the wrinkle with who looks just like you. Callum. Yeah. Callum. Yeah. Da- David Callum lives in Wilmington. Need to invite him. Look just like him. We can have a lookalike day. Yeah. Lookalike day. A show. Man, how much fun has this been? That's been a great show, guys. Um, because it has been a show filled with laughs. And anytime you can spend two hours of your day laughing, it's got to put you, it's got to start you off right. Yes. Hey, this rabbit? Yeah. 16 years old. Yeah. That's a 16 year old rabbit that's in between Jared and myself, which is not just a random fact. Do what, man? He is the oldest rabbit alive today. A rabbit. 16 years old, Guinness Book of World Records says that this this rabbit right here is the oldest rabbit alive in the world today at 16 years old. I'm hunting rabbits. He just had a birthday. I love rabbits, too. So. I do, too. Happy birthday, rabbit. Happy birthday, rabbit. Happy birthday, rabbit. Silly rabbit tricks are for kids. Oh, that's it, baby. Silly rabbit. I see what you did right there. <laughs> I think, I, think, I think Jared liked that. I do like that. <laughs> oh, man. All right. I don't think I've ever had trick cereal. Really? Yeah. What is wrong with you? It's garbage. <laughs> well, cereal is changed drastically. I'm just serious, man. I think the only cereal I really like is um, Cheerios. Hey, see you, Jeremy. Man, puffs. we appreciate you, buddy. Reese's Puffs is good. Reese's Puffs yeah. cereal, bro. Oh, yeah, you got to stew the rabbit, man. Pure sugar. Stew the rabbit. Yeah, rabbit stew, man. What's happened to you? You never had rabbit stew? No. I've never had rabbit You're stew. You're an animal. Have you had rabbit stew? No. Okay. I, 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 nobody rabbit stew. No, nobody calls it rabbit what stew. What an animal. Anyways. Savage. In, in my mind, when he says rabbit stew, I'm thinking like that old witch yeah, who's stirring the pot. It's like, we're going to make a yeah, crazy Bob. spell today. <laughs> uh, I don't want a crazy spell. I just want some rabbit soup. You know who I bet can make some... Great rabbit soup, Esau. Simper. <laughs> you are so stupid. Man, I'm full of the jokes today. Omar, Simper Fi, my Marine. See you not yet. Friend. This dude, Omar, had a 240, uh, not a 240, 240 golf. Anyways, it's a machine gun that carries 7.62 rounds. Uh-huh. The thing was huge. See, I had a 240. He had a 240 golf. I had a 249 saw. No, that means nothing to you. But my my gun that we had in Iraq, my gun carried on uh, 556 five, rounds. Uh-huh. That's your normal M16 right. rounds. Yeah. But it fired a little over a thousand rounds um, a minute. A thousand rounds. A, it was, a thousand it, rounds a minute. It was really fast. Like you, it's, that's why it's belt fed. It's belt right. fed. So it had a bandolier. But he had a uh, 240 golf, which is 762 rounds. Yeah. It's like that's big time. I mean, so that. Like the, like but water he's. Big. But he's like, like, five foot, six maybe yeah. five foot five, and he had this huge gun. I, I need to bring some pictures so y'all can see them. But uh, yeah, mandatory. Mandatory. We had one time where you got to go out to the rain, uh, range and test fire your uh, guns, the your weapons in Iraq, and one of the times you just had to hold the trigger down. And it just, and that was fun. Yeah. Heck yeah, man. But yeah. It, it was one of those times where you just take CLP, which was the lubricant we use, and just cover it in it. Because it was going to get, so, get hot, so hot. Yeah. That it would wear out fast. If you have to, so if you're firing them through that fast, I mean, do you, do you have to continue to put the lubricant on it, or is it just. No, you put it up there because you're only, the two, so the one I fired only 
I mean, it would fire as many as you put, but the bandolier only had 200 rounds. You can only do 200 rounds at a time. So it's in this, like the bottom of a 249 saw uh, or this gun, um, it straps to it, it clips to it. You lift the top, you throw it in, you lock it, it's ready to go. Y'all want to hear a funny story? There was this reservist in Wilmington who swore up and down. Ace will remember this, he's still up here who swore up and down he knew how to operate a 249 saw. Most guns, you send the bolt home. So you put, you put, a, uh, you put the ammo in it, and then you send the bolt home on, on the, you know, like a M16 or right, whatever, right, right. Uh, anything. The, 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 so it yeah. locks it in place. Right. You do not do that with the 249 saw. You pull it back, you pull it back, uh -huh. you put it, uh, the ammo in there, you put it down, she's ready to go, friend. Yeah. You do not send it home. Yeah. Because when you send it home, you're going to fire that first round. There was a reservist in Wilmington, North Carolina, who, he was a cop, who swore up and down, yeah, so I know how to work that thing. We're crossing over into the Iraq. Like, we couldn't lock and load until we crossed over the border to Iraq. Uh -huh. So that's the time, you, if you're going to send the M16, send the bolt home. So yeah. you're ready to fire. 249 saws. Do not send the bolt home because you're going to launch a bunch of rounds into the middle of people. Oh, Lord. Did he do it? Yes, he did it. We thought we were taking fire. Yeah. My staff sergeant was very upset at him when we finally got to Camp Viper, which was the first camp in there. Oh, Lord, Lord, Lord. Yeah, he paid for that. He fired three rounds. No, nobody got hurt. Luckily, yeah. it was up in the air. Yeah. But so the UN, little known fact, UN cannot be in an occupying war country, a yeah. war occupying country. So yeah. they're on the Kuwait side of the border. I mean, UN people. As soon as we cross over, it's like, just like that. And then everybody's like, because you don't stop. The convoy does not stop, especially yeah. during that time. And, yeah, so this dude, he paid for that. Yeah. He got in trouble. He got in a lot of trouble. Yeah. He was a reservist cop from Ohio. That is cool. He was stationed in, his station was Wilmington. That's a bad day. That is a very bad day. And I remember Staff Sergeant Stubbs. My man was, my man was. He was solid. I loved him. Had he never had, had he never worked with the, the gun before? I have no clue how he ended up getting that gun yeah. if he hadn't. And I'm so, so yes, he had to have qualified with it. I guess he just forgot that you don't send it home. Or maybe like he remembered fast. Oh my goodness. Right over the Brits. That's right. Because we we had to um, go with the British Royal Marines. Mm -hmm. I love our our army friends are awesome. However. There's no however. Y'all are awesome. When we were, it was called the race to Baghdad. The Marines took the right. The Army and the British Royal Marines took the left side. And we went up Iraq this way to get to Baghdad. And the only time we stopped was during a sandstorm. Yeah. That lasted like a week, two weeks, something like that. And um, so, yeah, we had Brits there. And uh, they were really cool. British got, British Marines were really, really cool. Heck yeah, man. Yeah. All right. Well, roll. time to sign off. I got to roll, too. Got to put the vest on and go to work. Let's do it. Work, work. Guys, thank you for turning in. Hey. Also, um, thank you for tuning in. Tuning, turning, what have you. Listening in. I won't be here tomorrow. I'll be here Thursday and Friday. You guys rock. I'm You'll excited. you be here tomorrow? I got superior training, and it starts at 8. There's no, it'll be pretty much pointless for me to go. We send you a love. Absolutely. Maybe I can see. I can maybe I'll stop by on the way to training. Maybe we'll see. Like, yeah, maybe that'd be awesome if you could. Yeah. Um. Yeah. All right. Thank you for your service. Absolutely. This, this Friday, what y'all are about to watch is a promo for the revived conference. Get your get your youth group signed up. Get them signed up. I know several churches that are signing up on Thursday because they gave their youth group until Wednesday night. To say, hey, I want to go. Um, we we Temple got 30 tickets, mm -hmm. and I find out that we're still going to need a little more. Unity is purchasing 40 tickets, um, which is good. Uh, Hollywood Church, they're going. I didn't even know where they were from until I saw them on the list. Yes. Uh, Hollywood Church is going. Parker's Chapel is going. Trinity Church is going. Uh, Harbor Church, First Free Baptist in Washington is going. A lot of people going. You don't have to be with the church to go. If you have a kid between the age of 6th and 12th grade, they are more than welcome to go. Taco Tuesday. Get your Ooh. tickets at itickets.com. But they're in. So, that's Friday. Yeah, we'll be there hanging out. 
Yeah. Heck Beyond, yeah. We're going to be there. Yep. We're we'll going to be, be there. there. Hanging out. It's going to be exciting. It's my last day at Honda's tomorrow, so we'll be able to. And you know what else? What else? Johnny said yesterday that we can give away between 20 and 25 shirts. Yes. For free. Heck yeah, man. That's awesome. So we're going to be giving away all sorts of stuff. That'll be fun time. During the conference. Food's free. Everything's free minus that you pay for the ticket. That covers everything. So this right. is the promo. Peace. We, oh, peace, we, love, and grace. That. We love you guys. Tell them bye. Later, guys. Peace, love, and grace. See, See you tomorrow. later. Hey, tell them bye again. This video, not audio. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Bye. Bye. Hey, Jill.